Sup, nerds. Welcome to the Omni Free Game Podcast, episode 36. I am Sean, and I'm joined with Chris and Brandon, as always. All right, guys, this week's Omni for Game recap. We go over our locals, as always. We hit up some ruling updates and how that changes the game a bit. Uh, weekly reveals, as always. And we hit your guys' comment questions. So if you guys like this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next episode. First topic, uh, locals recap. Which one of you is going first? That would be me. Okay. Uh, first week of the format, uh, I was trying out the new hybrid. I uh, broke even. Uh, round one, I got the buy. Uh, feels bad. Didn't even get a play. Ice the kicker. Uh, round two, I believe yes. I played against Chris. Uh, unfortunately, my deck was not working. His deck was really working. Um, so I did get game two off of him. It was a two one um, for Chris. I think, but I think that was when I came up and started watching and made Chris nervous. So I started yeah, and then he started he started being all sweaty, palm spaghetti, uh, vomit on his sweater already. Yeah. Uh, round three, much. I <laughs> round three I played against Bagra. Um, I should have two would but like we were all like joking around, joshing around while I was playing my final turn, and instead of just swinging for lethal, I did something trolly, and it passed turn, and I was just like, oh. Yeah, okay. So I just scooped up. How did like, you whatever. not? He, he, How did you not know it was going to pass turn? He evoed into Kai, to Emperor Greymon. It was, it was the Blitz, like, uh, the Blitz I, Emperor I I Blitz. Yeah, I thought I was going to get Blitz the way it was working, but then Sean was like, you don't get Blitz, and I was like, ah, you're right. I do not get Blitz. Yeah, because he evos... <laughs> His Evo is done, his effect activates, which he doesn't have one because there's no Blitz to be had because there's he still no has memory. Have, and then uh, after that's done, Mel triggers his effect and then pulls turn. <laughs> so and I Brandon didn't have any all, security. Yeah, when we were all like joking and having fun and stuff like that, I was like, haha, you're going to make me lose memory? Well, I'm going to Evo to the guy with Blitz. And then it, he, Sean was like, that's not how that works. And I was like, F. All right. Yeah. So- Unfortunately, yeah. So, you could have done yeah. if you did more stuff and then evoed. You could yeah, have done that. Fine, yeah. Unforge. Uh, you know, sometimes you just lose to your own hubris. Uh, but then I just two like, him after that. Like Will did in the next round, he almost had a chance of losing that game. I'll wait till you get there, though. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, Will did beat me in the final round. Um, he was playing bunnies. Uh, again, my deck just wasn't really working. Like, there was turns where I wasn't seeing any rookies, which is crazy, because I play almost 14 of those little dudes. Or games where I just wasn't seeing tamers, which is also crazy, because I play 8 of those dudes. So it was like one or the other, where I was just like, kind of soft-locked out of playing the game. You know there's Um, a card that if you promote from your raising area, and you play it as a 4 of, it searches Digimon or tamers? Yeah. Yeah, 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 the new Uko. I was playing him as a two of, but after last night, I'm definitely bumping it up. How many are you bumping it up to, Brandon? Uh, three or four. I, I'm going to see how much space I can make. Only I told me like, to you said, you said those three. Are, those are the only two numbers you can possibly bump it up to. Three yeah, or four. Um, I'm also wanting to add at least one, maybe two copies of Crimson Blaze. Cause, uh, I would I think agree the with decks, that. I think the decks that compete with Magna X are going to be playing a lot of things by an effect. Whether you're Imperial, whether you are Numa, whether you are Luga. Mm-hmm. So, maybe worth teching some of those in. Or maybe just playing, uh, not Solar, Gatsu. I was going to say, are you not playing Gatsu right now? No, I should. Yeah, I just, you should. Man, the deck is so t- tight right now. Just Well, loosen it up, man. Fit some Gatsus in there. Yeah, I'll guess I'll get my lube and loosen it up. How many times did the Marsmon come in? Three, three times. Three how, times. How many cards were in your deck? Uh, counted. We counted this time. Because you know, 50. deck space does open up quite a bit when you go from forty-seven to fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Marsmon actually came in clutch a uh, good times. Um, just being able to raid into something while passing turn and then get the turn back because he gains memory was actually super clutch. Uh, the downside to running Marsmon is you don't get extra DP from your inheritables. You have to get it from your win eboing effects, and you don't get piercing. 
the Aldemon effect. So, that can be uh, a little shaky. Like, I think I straight up lost game one to Chris specifically because I did not have Aldemon in my sources. I was swinging with Aldemon, mm. and I, I checked the Giga Death, and I was on the spot right there. Ouch. This is one of... This is one of option, and I hit it, and I was just like, ah! Is there a guy... Was that, that or Mega... Though? That, no! That's, that's why we play it. That or Mega Death, there's gonna be one of them. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know. It had to be the, the big boy. If you'd have bounced it back to my hand, that's cool. I have it for, you know, another Evo. But bot You died me, the next like, turn. I still had memory. <laughs> if you put it back in my hand, I just build a new stack. And then Emperor Greymon, oh, like you're... I was planning to do, oh, and then you're pop right. your stack. Yeah, anyway. you do all that. Yeah, you had all the every answer in the book. Literally losing that stack was like ah, okay, I just lose now. So if you weren't playing that card, Chris, you would have won that game. That's what he's saying. Yeah, right. Anyway, anyways, get on with your bull. Did you not talk oh, about losing the next... will? Yeah, Will. Yeah, I already talked about it. Okay, so the instance with Will that was absolutely hilarious to me and had me cry dying. Brandon plays I'm Gaia Force. Mon. Yes, Brandon plays Gaia Mon in his list. Ga two Ga security. Force. Gaia Force, I'm sorry. Brandon has two security. Will has three Digimon on the field. Okay, he has a uh, a rapid. I already know where this is going. He a rapid, a mega gargo, and then I, I maybe a terrier mon or a lot mon. I don't know. I don't know what the oh terrier, God, dude. Okay, so he Brandon gave him three I, memory. The per, where did he get a fourth memory from? He had four memory because he had no. just enough. No, no. I no, promise you, enough. Chris. We did the math. You were not in the game. I was in the game. He had exactly enough memory to go into courts and keep turn. Exactly. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying. It. And yeah, I know it does. Back. Bring him at zero. Yes. You laughed and said it would have been funny if his Mega Gargo would have died. No, because he wanted burn. to Digivolve. This is what Will did. He literally played the Quartz on top of the Mega Gargo, suspended everything, did the math, and then goes, no, I don't want to do that. And I'm like, Okay, whatever. But it would have been funny if he would have done that, attacked your security, hit a Gaia Force, killing the Mega Gargo. Because I swear, he had just enough memory to where if the Mega Gargo died, it didn't Three. pass turn. Azo flows four. Four would have passed turn if he was at four. That's what I'm saying. Because he then digivolved into the Rapid Mon, and I'm like, it would still be funny if you got hit by Gaia Force here. Yeah. He would have been hard punished. Yeah. That's oh, what I'm okay, saying. so he force. didn't check a guy for us? No. Guy no, he did. Never in security the entire night. I thought it was yeah. going to where he was checking a guy for us, and Brandon just like no, targeted no. the rapid X and was like, try to blow up no, that guy. Be stupid? Yes. Um, no, basically what I'm saying is, it was, well, we'll get there. Uh, yeah, it was funny. It, I thought it was funny that he was trying to go into the courts mon for... I don't know why, because it, it went in the game. Mm -hmm. But like I'm just like, if you if you attack in the security and hit and hit Gaia Force, you just lose. I'm just thinking this. I was like, don't do this. You have enough memory and the attacks to kill him. I just thought it was funny. Yeah. So anyways, I ended up with in fourth place. I went X one. In one I played against Caleb in his Darugamon deck. What were you playing? Uh, unfortunately Chris? I was playing uh, new Imperial Dramon stuff. Um, it's still, it's still super duper fast if mm. you open up properly. Uh, uh, it's very vroom vroom. I was drawing so many cards. I don't think I missed a single draw all night. I made sure I'm looking, okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. I gotta... There was one point where I had like 20 cards in my hand. Like, this many cards in my hand. It was crazy. It felt super good. I had every card that I needed. Um, unfortunately for Caleb, I don't, he was very, uh happy with his list or maybe he just didn't like the pieces just weren't working for him that or i just steamrolled him super hard uh it could be either of them because he really didn't get to play the game game one 
Game two, he finally got to build up into a level six. I think he forgot Imperial Dramon, uh Fighter Mode was a card. The ace. Yeah. Was uh was a card, so he attempted to attack. Uh I blast devote into it, bottom decked it. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. And he had his tamer mind linked underneath it. And he so he lost that. <laughs> I felt so, so bad. Because he finally he Go ahead. This is where Brandon comes into the story. Um, I was. Oh yeah. And I had to buy. So his stat gets outed, and Chris has the fighter mode ace on the board. And I'm goes, dying. I'm laughing so hard. Yeah, Chris is just like having a good time. So uh, he activates the six. You guys just froze. No. No, I'm back. I'm back. Okay. He activates the what? Okay. The six cost option. The really and, uh, bad option. Oh, the Dorian option? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tried to out his stack, and then I just looked at him and I said, with what black source on the board? Ouch. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. So, he had, um, he had nothing on the board. I just felt so bad for him because all, the entire game, he had just been trying to get out. He was just trying to build up and stuff, but he kept promoting, and then I would just go into the new Pyodramon, suspend it, or his cards would be under 6,000 DP, so I'd bottom deck it with the other Pyodramon. So, like, every time he brought up something or did something, I, I answered it. And so he finally got up to this Darugam, or this, his level 6 boss monster. Doru tries to swing. Yeah, and I bottom deck it. Then he tries to activate the option card without a card on the field. And so now I know it's in his hand. So the f next turn, I, you know, I do rookie. my stuff. I just play a rookie. <laughs> play rookie. <laughs> it was so it, it was so funny. And then we did a test game where I played Grace Nova with the new stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I I didn't know the well. I know now. I didn't know the Doru, the level six, whatever. Uh, Doru could delete tamers. Doru Gurumon. Doru Gurumon. Uh, what Sean said. Uh, could delete tamers. It's Raven. Yeah, Raven. Uh, could delete tamers, yeah. so that kind of slowed me down a little bit. Uh, then round two. Um, what did I play against? I played against Brandon Red Hybrid. Game one. Uh, I think it literally was who goes first. Uh, and yeah, if it, you that, open that up good enough, typically was who opened up better earlier, and uh, I just hit remove a lot of security, like. I don't even think it was that. It was just I went first, so I was able to get in a bunch of chip damage and super, super early. Because with the new Den and Cave, or the Den, uh, uh Den. 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 Davis? Yeah, Den. Den. <laughs> the yeah, with the new Den, with the new Den Tamer, you can just, it, it makes it so much faster. Um, because you get that second body for free. But even without it, just opening up Davis is really nice as well. Because I think I opened Davis. Then I did I did evolve into a Vmon and then went, went Davis, Brandon. Added two yeah. cards and then just like went from there. Um, so that's really that was really fun. Game two, um, he went into the Emperor. I think I, I had... Hard. Yeah, Brandon went first. I don't so think... Because he... Yeah, he ended up... I, I think clearing my board... Um, yeah, the, you left was your it, dude yeah, it was Emperor? And I was just like, yeah, you left your dude suspended, and I was like, alright, partition doesn't work when you die by battle, swing over it. Yeah. Um. If you would have left him unsuspended, uh, I would have been forced to use Marsmon, which would have been suboptimal in that situation, because it would have passed turn, whereas you left him suspended, so I just built an Aldemon stack, and the Aldemon was going to be bigger than your fighter mode ace with more I forces. I think. So you couldn't. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. I forgot. I forgot that he can add as many sources as he wants. No, not as many, but it's five. five and yeah. then he, and then he digivolves and give. It's like more sources, and I was like, I forgot about that part. So that's why he ended up staying suspended because I was like, I'll just, I'll just fighter mode him. Um, but then when he did, when he stops and he goes to the Kuya digivolve, 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 I'm like, oh, he has way more sources. Duh. Winning that Over. game. Then I evoed into the Emperor to pop the stack that yes. didn't have partition. So then, uh, game three, uh, I, I just uh, won because I went first again. <laughs> um, round three, I then played against Ben. So I had been playing pretty well all night, but for some reason, as soon as I sat down across from Ben, uh, I just started playing super poor. 
I don't know what it is. I just sat down and I was like feeling good and stuff. And then I start drawing and I start playing and I'm like, oh my god, I'm playing poorly now. I'm like just making dumb decisions. Record, like I'm forget. The record button got hit, so the brain turned off. I, I don't know, man. Like it no, my brain doesn't turn off. It just overclocks. <laughs> like because then I start second guessing everything. I'm like, oh, is this how this works? Does this what because so I then I didn't know that Mega Gargomon could digivolve on the Rapidmon X antibody. I thought it said Digivolve on top of a Rapidmon. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, but because Rapidmon X antibody also has X antibody in its name. Yeah. You can't do that. So I ended up swinging into his Digimon. Uh and then he's like, Blast Eva? And I'm like, Are you serious? it says Rapidmon in name? And he says, Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like Double that checking whether Ben ridiculous. knows how his deck. Ben, are you sure that's how your yeah. deck works? Are you, yeah, no, no, I didn't say it like that. I was like, are you serious? And he's just like, yeah. And I'm like, of course like, it does. He's like 100%. Uh, so that was <laughs> awesome. Yeah. I can't get I can't get my early chips in on him like I can the rest of the decks because he can blast evil from a level 4 into his boss monster. So my Pyildramons can't really do too much except for the suspend one, which then, uh, that was another thing I started freaking out about. I was like, Oh my god, is he going to be able to blast Evo and then unsuspend and stuff? And I'm like, no, of course not. But I'm over here thinking, that's not how it works. Yeah. So I started uh, overthinking. I started playing really poorly. I was uh, digivolving into the wrong Digimon. I was like, okay, I need to have the end of turn uh, Vmon under, or Wormon underneath this stack so I can go into Pyeldramon, suspend all his stuff, and they won't be able to unsuspend, and then I can go from here. Messed that up. Digivolved into the wrong Vmon. Drew, so I'm like, I'm not taking that back. Like, I don't do that. If I draw, it's, it's over. It's Jover. Because even Ben was like, oh, you want to take it back? I'm like, no. I've already drawn. I Like, the mistake's been made. Like, I don't like to take back stuff like that because it's the only way Unless you learn. Unless playing against me, of course. Because you do it with everything. <laughs> yeah, do you do it whole lot. If, so if he gives an inch, you take a mile. I, I understand that. <laughs> so, um... So, I'm like, okay. Last time I take the backseat against him. Love I guy. forgot, I dude, last night. I can't remember the exact instance, but I guarantee it happened last night. I can't remember night. it. It didn't. It didn't happen. Brandon actually gave you the chance of oh. a takesy backsies in round three when you crash your Imperial into his Emperor, yeah, yep. thinking your partition yep. would trigger. I thought he just <laughs> wanted to clear my body. I thought when I when I first read partition, I I. I I'm, I forgot the other then. Yeah, because you were really, like, which I'm going you were like, it says by battle, and I'm like, it, yeah, it does then. say by battle. <laughs> it says uh, some other words uh, too, other which words there as yeah, well. which I'm glad that never happened the night because then I felt really bad cheating people. Mm -hmm. It only ever came up against Caleb once, and it was after he activated that six cost option card to blow up my Pyodramon, and then I got to play out my bodies. So God, the one time it came up, bad. it actually worked. Yeah. Uh -huh. so I just feel bad, like using remo a six yeah. cost removal, and it doesn't really accomplish anything. Yeah, it, yeah. So, um, yeah. So I crashed into his car. I, um, no, no. I, I like another thing. The new Wormon. I forgot it did evolve from trash. Uh, and well, I didn't really forget. I forgot that that happened, and I had an X Vmon in trash, and then did evolved into an X Vmon on the board. So my whole combo was going to an X Vmon. Okay, are we all back? Uh, seems that way, yeah. Well, some of us never left. Yeah, okay. I, so, I never left. I played super poorly against Ben. Uh, made a lot of mistakes. A lot of dumb, easy mistakes, because I had really good cards in my hand. Like, I had play lines. I just started playing really poorly, and then second-guessing stuff, and I was just getting punished for it. Um, just pretend the camera's see, not though. there, man. I don't yeah, even think it's the so camera. Shy. I, dude, I just sat down and then just started playing poorly. You think? Like, I don't know what was it was. Was it Ben's intimidating presence that just made you just super nervous? No, I think I think it's. Um, I did sit down in front of Ben. I was like, okay, now I have to play well. Because when I sit down across See, from like Brandon, I'm just like, okay, this is Brandon. I don't think Brandon's like a bad player. Don't get me wrong. No, it's I just get like, what I'm you're comfortable. Saying. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, okay, yeah. so against Ben, I have to play super well because I know he's a very good player. And whatever, so I'm like, okay, so now I have to play, play right. And then I start playing, and I'm like, oh, I recognize that I'm playing it, poorly. It. Yeah, I'm like, I recognize, and I'm like, now I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm playing poorly. Yep, I'm in my own head now. Um, 
So there was that. And then round four, I swiftly 2 0 Hunters because he left. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Which, I still think I would have just dominated that matchup. Yeah, because like uh, Partition, I'll... you just laugh at uh, Superior Mode. Yep. So like, yeah, I think you are you just win that matchup because like the removal doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, I just kill them way, 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 way yeah. too fast. You also run them down. Yeah. So, um, Imperial Dramon, new stuff. Felt really fun. I never got to actually play against Magna X tonight, so I don't know how we would do against that. Same. I think I think if I'd have played against Sean while he was opening up his bad hands, I may I probably would have had you, a chance. There was definitely a decent <laughs> shot at you just killing me before I got a chance to even play. Yeah, I would like to play like, out before the podcast yeah. started. Chris was like, "Oh yeah, we're not talking about much today." So Brandon, you could just waffle on all you want during the the locals recap. And here I am. I took three minutes, and he took like twenty. You took just as long. The only, the only uh, reason why, the only reason why you didn't, Brand, is because I said that. <laughs> no, it's because I played Red Hybrid. I turned my stuff sideways. Game's either over or it's not over. I'm telling you, Sean. I really wish you would have been able to record mine and Caleb's game from uh, round one, mm -hmm. because when I tell you, I did. Did I not? The. No, no, because no, Ben was the feature match. Oh, he was. I forgot yeah. it wasn't you. When I tell you, I went unga boonga on him <laughs> in like two minutes. I'm talking like murder him so fast. That game one, that me and him were both laughing. Like Caleb's like, I didn't even get to do anything. I'm like, bro, you're yeah. It's oh, it's Jover. Sounds like Imperial Jamon. Yeah, it was it was hilarious. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Sean. Tell us how amazing and boring your night was. <laughs> All right, so I played Magnamon X uh, Vaccine um, deck. I've been putting on the channel a little bit, been testing. I'm still. Oh, what, what place did you get? I came in first. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm still. I still am tinkering with my list because it still doesn't feel perfect to me. Um, like last night. Are you are you playing the Rapid X Magna one? Like, are you playing... Because I see a lot of decks who are playing both. No, I see no reason to play Rapid uh, X. I think it's silly to have that as your side Magna. I see that people say that, like, you just play both. But have you considered Venusmon exists? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Have you considered Venusmon being a card? Um, I just think it looks super... Not janky, but, like... They just, just don't mix. They, they don't. Like, Rapid X is cool. Like, it has a cool effect... But yeah. you, all of your other stuff does that. Like you don't need Rapid X in the deck. Yeah. Um, okay. See, I'm not playing any Rapid Xs, but uh, my list, my deck was kind of clunky for like the first three games that I played. Um, I went eight zero. Uh, like I didn't drop a single game. Um, last you didn't night. lose a single game. You don't say. Yeah. Despite some of my hands being pretty suboptimal to where like. Uh, I don't think there was a game I never put a Magnex on the field, but I think, like, half my games, it was, like, I put it on the field after, like, seven turns. Like, seven of my turns. Um, which is not normal. Like, I was opening up super slow hands. Uh, round one, I played against, uh, Will's Bunnies. Um, he put up a little bit of a fight, but once I got a Magnex on the field, it was Jover. Uh, 2 would him... Uh, played against Hunters round two. Game one took quite a while because that was a game where I just, like, it took me forever to, like, actually do stuff because my hand was so slow. And I finally stuck a Magna X and then it was Jover. I um, actually uh, decked him out game one. Um, yeah, I love that. They just don't care. They just keep doing their stuff. Yeah, I They're mean, just, he... Like, keep he probably could have attempted to not deck out and I just would have killed him with my Magna X that was on the field. Um, but yeah. he just, he only had like two or three cards left in deck. And if he swung with his superior oh, mode, okay. he just decked himself out from the draws. Right. And I was like, like, dude, you want to swing and just deck yourself out? And he's like, you promise not to block? And I was like, sure. Gentleman's agreement. I won't block if you swing. So he just, <laughs> so he swung and decked himself out, but he wasn't going to win the game. Cause like if he ever swung, he would just deck out. And I didn't have what it. if what if what if he turned his card sideways and you just went? I was like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I had my fingers crossed all the time. Yeah. Uh, 
game two though i finally did what the deck was supposed to do and stuck a magna x on like my second turn of the game and it, i i killed him in like four turns maybe first check out of security uh was a guy force the turn i evoed in a magna x and swung into security like i pr- right. yeah i promoted a Patamon, evoed into uh starter deck rapid mon uh swung at his guy minus it by 4k to clear it and then awakening into magna x unsuspended kept turn swung into security first check guy force unsuspend swing again because guy force doesn't so you, do anything you like you like are you still playing the gold v germans uh yes okay you're just playing your your other level four is rapid i yeah i play both rapids um I, th- I like gold Vigamon because you're not always going to open Patamon. So, yeah. like, it's the cheapest uh, armor form vaccine that you can play. And you can Evo into it without passing turn if you have a memory setter. Um, or a training card out. Like, whether you have three memory or one. Right. Um, so, like, that's why I like that card. Um, its effect is kind of cool. Like, you can kill, like, floodgates and stuff and they stun things randomly. Um, but it's really just the fact that it's a vaccine armor is the only reason it's in the list. It's a cheap mm-hmm. Evo. Well, cheap. It still costs three. Um, cheap. Yeah. Uh, round three, I played against Caleb's uh, Doru Goromon deck. He literally oh, never Caleb. Evoed into a level six either game. Yeah, Sean, unfortunately, got down paired that round. So Caleb had to catch the smoke. Sean, you dirty dirty hooker i didn't do Molly. the pairings yeah caleb lost Molly. round one had a buy and then i got down paired versus him so it was someone that was 2-0 playing and someone who was potentially maybe 0-2 if they didn't get a buy because their deck was a uh, super clunky for him all night um i won that 2-0 very easily uh not really much to say um and then round four i me and ben dodged each other all night ben was playing bunnies as well with rapid x and all that stuff uh, game one took like 25 minutes. Uh, my hand, my opening hand was so weird and awkward that I was fighting for my life 98% of the game. Um, but at one point, I had, I stuck two Andrew Womans, uh aces on the field. And at the beginning of my turn, I had uh, one security I dropped a second Angel Woman Ace, uh, triggered her, or the third Angel Woman Ace, triggered her effect to minus six, and then recovered back up to three security with all of their effects. And then from that point on, I won. Um, I was finally able to clear his board and like take control of the board state. And when I stuck a Magna X like the next turn, it was over. Is um, it just me, or did Ben's bunnies list seem a little bit better when it was more aggressive? Because it just seems so slow. It it kind of depends on the it hands that he draws. It didn't really seem aggressive to me. It's, like, it's never been aggressive, though. Like, it's always oh. been kind of a slow, kind of build-up control deck, which is part of its... The, he, he had that one list with fire rockets. Yeah, but even then, like, he has to see them in order for that to yeah. really do anything. Unless and you're, can't search unless it. You're me, unless you're me playing against Ben and he sees both of them fire rockets on a regular level four and chips three security in one turn and it survives all of them that's why no one likes you brain you're so whiny god <laughs> um so it's me me me, so, me so game two versus ben <laughs> um like game one legitimately took like 25 minutes because you guys were like what's what's the time in the round and i was like 20 minutes left yeah they were like you're like it looks like sean won yeah because you assumed we were gonna finish game two yep they're Uh, they're done they're 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 they're, it's a 101 yeah game two ben chose to go first my opening hand five minutes five minutes my opening hand was mediocre like first five cards like i had like a memory setting tk but i was it was like a pillow and like some stuff and i was like i mean this hand's basically like what i've been seeing all night like it's suboptimal my sixth card was a patamon and i just jover. it was jover, jover dude i decimated him i stuck a magna x on my second turn um and just touched him all over i i think it's ridiculous you can 
go from your level four, activate an awakening, and then digivolve into Magna X. That is, yeah. If that's ridiculous, if you open Pada, a level four insecurity and awakening in your hand with Magna, you can promote a rookie and even a Magna X without passing turn. Yeah, that's that's it's too much up. for me. Yeah, I did that. Uh, versus him I and i think that was the second game i did that all night because i did it versus uh solar playing hunters game two but yeah how many awakening are you playing uh last night it was two but that will be being uh, that's getting bumped up yeah you gotta bump that card up okay yeah that's ridiculous yeah it's it's unfair like i i put him to three security or i put him to two security on my second turn of the game and i had a magnet yeah. sitting there and he just what are you gonna do yeah um <laughs> I beat him so badly God. that Ben demanded a game three. <laughs> um, I didn't open the nuts on him, but the game three wasn't really like it was back and forth. Um, I was kind of tired and getting a little impatient. So I just started like swinging uh, at a security a little. Uh, Haphazardly. Yeah. And I got punished hardcore for it. Um, and he actually bought deck to Magna X because I didn't trigger the effect yet because I wanted to get the extra <laughs> checks. Um, uh, I was going to ask you if that if that came up at all. This is the only time all night was the game three versus Ben that he wanted to play. And I even went up into a, another Magna X because I also did it because I could establish another Magna X if that happened. Um, but on my, I actually got a last turn. I promoted and he had three security and i had two bodies i think or three bodies he had three security i had three bodies i promoted and decked out um evoing off of my pata and ben was like okay you have to kill me this turn and i was like okay and i had to bet i had to i had think i had to fight through a double typhoon uh on the like second check but it didn't matter at that point and i just uh killed him anyway yeah, I ended up going uh, 4-0. Didn't drop a game, despite the clunkiness of the deck. But, yeah. So, are you saying that Magna X carried you? Not it's even, dude. Honestly, game one, the, not round one. Yeah, the yellow vaccine engine is still incredibly strong. Like, the only thing Magna X let me do is once I stuck one on the field, I was like, okay, I have a win condition now. Like, a, a surefire. It's a like, yeah, like, this is a win condition. But, like, the Magna, or not the Magna, the yellow vaccine engine is what let me stay in games that I should have already lost before I ever saw it. So, me and Brandon saw this post on the Digimon page. And remember how everyone was saying, Magna X isn't that bad, guys. It's not oppressive. It's not that good. Mm hmm. There was a post, and he was. I, we're hoping it that was, it's true. It was a, Japanese, it was a Japanese, Japanese player. Yeah. He said, "Hey, this is a Japanese player," and his English was kind of broken, so maybe at least a little bit more credence. He goes, "Just gotta say, Magna X is as broken as everyone thinks it is." <laughs> and it definitely it is. should have already been banned. It in a hundred percent. I play tested against Magna X, like. A bunch. Yeah, copium, beat beat so the comment section. Be, beat so badly that Sean says, "I want to. I gotta play this now." Literally, I tried. Sean literally joined the dark side. Yeah, I. We, me and Ben have been playtesting BT16 specifically, usually mostly Magna X variants, uh, for like a month now at this point, if not a little longer. It's broken. It's broken AF. I don't see why people don't... Like, people are, like, super coped if they think that it's not going to be the best card in the format. Yes, it can lose to other decks. Like, Mirage is still going to be good. Um, but, like, basically every top deck is either going to be playing Magna X as a four of, or they're going to be playing a deck that specifically counters Magna X. Mm -hmm. Or just... Or can play cards that ignore it. It's crazy that them gonna be topping oh my god yeah it's only because of that level five yeah because the level what'd five. you say what'd you that say mirage is still gonna be topping yeah mirage is still gonna be topping numamon's still gonna be topping uh because numamon also has access to dp reduction that persists uh, until your opponent's turn with uh well guess guess what guess what they can also play uh they can also play valk and venus venus and val <laughs> yep yeah uh Numa is definitely even better than it was, which it did not need support, but 
getting and the access new to Ukomon. It. Yeah, the new Ukomon makes it even better because the part of your Let problem is some you. of your hands just weren't super good. The audacity of Will. Okay, this kid last week at the pre-release, and I'm talking to him. We're standing in the line to get our prize support or to buy boxes. It was to buy boxes. He goes, "Man, I don't think that new Ukomon's that good." I look at him. I say, "Are you kidding me right now?" Trolling me right now. I said, "I said that is like the second best card in the entire set." <laughs> what really? But it's not even close to as good as the other one. I said, "What?" It's better than the other one. And he's just like, how? You have to Digivolve for one. I said, <laughs> okay. I go, Will, when have you ever had a card that searches your entire deck and has no restrictions? And hatches again. Yes. I was like, it's so much free value. It is such a good card. If you do not have another t uh, level three that you can play in your deck, you just play Uko. Mm -hmm. You just play four of that Uko. Yeah, he goes, yeah, I... Problem with consistency? Play more Uko. He goes, yeah, I guess. And then last night, I'm sitting next to him as he's playing. He's got Ukomon in hand. He goes, man, I love this card. I loved it. <laughs> I love drawing into it. I said, are you kidding me? You told me you hated that card last week. And now this card's in your deck and you love it? He tested he's just it, like, He knows now. Yeah. He understands. He goes, wait. He goes, I never said that. I said, yes, you did. He 100% did because you talked about that last week. Yes, I'm like, no, the audacity of this kid. To say that while he's holding the alt R Uko in his hand. Yep. Uh, Turns out he actually had a decent box despite, despite missing Magna X. He pulled, like, the third most expensive card in the set. Yep. alt R Uko. I mean, unless we also... Cars. We, me and Brandon, we were looking at the prices yesterday. The Kosuke and the Imperial uh, Imperial German alt arts are going for like the exact same price, so it, that was like one of the most fair trades of all time. Just straight up one now, for one. Yeah, it depends to see what happens here on out. Um, like if it was, it was someone. I was suspect me. the Imperial is going to end up being more. I think so too because it's also just like a fan fan favorite deck. Yeah, it's gonna see more play. I think it's got pseudo waifu yeah. tax on it. Yes, and I found out why Mel hates Imperial Dramon. Um Because he played in BT8. No, well, that's why yes, I hate probably. it. Probably, <laughs> but uh, they said, um, "Oh, because Davis is a terrible person." Since you hate my entire deck because of Davis. Like, that doesn't make any sense, but okay. How is Davis sure. a terrible person? Like, how is he worse than any know. of the other uh, kids? Davis is a better character than everyone else in that show, only because he's the only one that was willing to accept Ken after everything happened. I like Ken better, Literally. but yeah, I would agree with that. No, Ken's, Ken's got the cooler character arc, mm -hmm. but Davis is the quote unquote best character because of that interaction with yeah, Ken. He was still he's the only one that's chance. willing to accept him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah too bad you have to sit through the slog it's the first thirty episodes of his character. Yes. Him and so. his him and his V Mod. Leave <laughs> Leave V Mod Davis. <laughs> Davis. Davis. <laughs> yeah, you fight the Digimon Emperor. Yeah, I hate that guy. <laughs> Armor Digivolve. The New York accent Vimon is goaded. Like, where he's where is this guy from? <laughs> he's from the streets. The, the streets of Brooklyn. The, 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 yeah. the digital streets of Brooklyn. Digimon Brooklyn. Armor Digivolve. Those <laughs> <laughs> armor right. Digivolves uh, just a gat. Yeah. Oh my god. What's the secret? All right. Oh, you know what? Speaking of Gats, all right, we had an argument. Uh, not an argument. Oh, uh, here we here go. Over here the last few days. <laughs> Comment section, let us know what you think, all right? <laughs> Who wins in a fight? Rayquaza or a Gabumon <laughs> with a gun? See, let me start this. Okay, let me start this. Brandon, not even Brandon, initially messaged me this. Emma messaged me this in our group chat. And said, who do y'all think would win, a Gabumon versus a Rayquaza? I said, obviously Rayquaza. Then I got a follow-up message that says, what if the Gabumon had a gun? I said, so I that's where this Gabumon. came from? That's why Brandon yeah. yes. asked me. Gotta, 
I got. <laughs> I said I gotta give it to the Gabumon with the gun. The gun just OP. Rayquaza well, can't beat the gun. Heat. What are you gonna do against a gun? So, I pointed <laughs> and then out. Sean, Sean, Sean takes this to a whole nother level with typing. So seriously, we're so you, clearly trolling. You have Sean's to like, take. The, you have to take Delta discussions stream? like this seriously. It's a pseudo legendary. What about Delta Stream? Not just that, dude. I was using troll math. I was like, well, do you think Gabumon beats a Charmander? And they're like, yeah, I think Gabumon beats a Charmander. Well, if we take Rayquaza's base stats and Charmander's base stats, Charmander is equivalent to a third of a Rayquaza. So if you think Gabumon can beat three that Charmanders, is... he can beat Rayquaza. That's really not how base stats <laughs> <laughs> a scale with each other. Three Charmanders does not equal one Rayquaza. So you just take three, three Charmanders. Charmanders and you can just solo the Elite Four. That's all it takes. Yeah. Three yeah. Charmanders. Three Charmanders stacked on top of each other equals three, Rayquaza. Three Charmanders in a trench here. coat equals Rayquaza. I have, I have seen a man beat yes. an entire Pokemon game with only a Mudkip. It's possible. Dog. Are you talking so about a Sean speed goes, run? <laughs> Sean no, goes, Sean goes. The game. He went through Sean everything. goes, he well. Well, technically, Gabumon is an ice type, and Rayquaza's four times weak to it. So I guess he'd have a chance. And then yeah. Brand's like, okay, but you all are taking addition to the gun. Sean goes, well, he's immune to steel type. <laughs> I didn't say he's immune. I said steel isn't oh, super effective versus dragon yeah. or flying. <laughs> But a gun isn't a steel type move. Yeah, but it, every metal in the Pokemon universe, if it's related to a Digimon, is steel. Oh my god! I mean, related move. to a Pokemon, it's steel. Oh my god! When you so, pop a gat at somebody, it's not a steel type move. It's a gat so type. also oh, it's so it's not quad move. super effective if it's Mega Rayquaza because <sighs> it gets rid of the um, uh, the flying weakness. Flying. Yeah. So it only be uh, super effective just regular. And so now you're saying that the Rayquaza has to be mega to stand a chance against my Gabumon? I think I win. I'm not saying that. I, I, I just I, I just, think Rayquaza wins that match. I told you that. I think it I think it's probably like I think Rayquaza outspeeds in Oko's uh Gabumon. I just no, imagine no, no. I just imagine from season one tank hits from the Dark Masters. The Dark Masters have planetary scaling. I think they take. I think he eats that hit. No, he gets okoed, my guy. Listen, all I, I just imagine Gabumon with a gat and just pistol whipping Rayquaza across the face. I imagine a dragon ascent <laughs> into Gabumon <laughs> and his HP going to zero and him passing and then, out and going back into his Pokeball. You're assuming. Of course, you're assuming the Gabumon doesn't just dodge. What if he of just course, dodges? Josh. Of course, Josh being Josh, he goes, guys, I think I figured this out. And he sends us a link, and it's a video game. It's like Digimon versus Pokemon or something like that. <laughs> it's like a whole video game. <laughs> you got you guys. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I think it was oh. a Fire Red mod uh, where you play as Digimon. That sounds pretty sick. Yeah. <sighs> uh, yeah, but Rayquaza oh, wins oh. that. All I gotta what say is I like the. You think you have to get to to beat a like a, a pseudo legendary like that? Because uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, Rayquaza's probably not level. a pseudo. Rayquaza's a straight up legendary. BT Dubs. Uh, I'm telling you right now, it's probably level four. I'm pretty sure a Greymon bodies a Rayquaza. Greymon super doesn't because Dragon resist fire, my dude. Listen, okay, I already he's know also people. Dragging. I, I, all I know is people Greymon are is a dinosaur the... type. He's not a dragon. People Dinosaurs are dragons. They're the same thing. They're literally people not. Are, hold on. <laughs> They're not hold dragon people kid. Are, people in the comment section will bring up the death battle between Agumon and Charizard. Uh, let's just go ahead and throw that out the window, guys, because we all know death battle is ridiculous because they can't even do Superman and Goku right because they take in every creation of everything. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That's dumb stuff and everything. Yeah, so we're throwing like, death battle. Scanning, guys. Yeah, we're throwing, we're throwing death battle out the window. I don't want to hear it because I Did do think a Greymon could kill a Charizard. Zara? 
A Greymon I mean, Sean, or an Agumon? A Greymon could easily... Yeah, he he ends up not being able to win until he goes War Greymon. And then even then, it's like super easy. He like kills him in like one hit. I I think a Greymon could potentially go toe to toe with the Charizard. Listen, um, bro, I feet. think y'all forget Greymon's, how big Greymon is. Greymon's yeah, not massive. Is, not only is Greymon massive, Which but iteration? this is an actual feat. This is an actual feat a Greymon has. Like it's not even a tamer Greymon. It's just a Greymon. It literally melts rock with his Mega Flame. That's hot. That's that better than Charizard. Charizard's I mean, the- doing. Charizard's shorter than us, Sean. That is true. Charizard's like small, five boy. foot something. Was he like gonna do to seismic toss a, a Greymon? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean they both him up. they both resist each other's attacks, but I feel Sean, like stop I feel like resist. I feel like Greymon <laughs> just wins by brute force alone. He has horns. He'll just impale his ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think. I think that's. I think that's probably the case. I think uh, Greymon wins that battle. As soon as you get level four, like, Greymon versus Rayquaza, though, no, you're, you're, you're smoking rocks, dude. How well, you big think is Metal a Greymon? Can do it? Huh? I think Metal Greymon could. I think. Yeah, I think Metal Greymon could take him. I don't know. Again, dude. I mean, I guess. Metal does resist dragon and flying, so I mean. Oh, here we go. I guess he'd have a better type matchup, but I don't think he could hit Rayquaza super effectively. All it right, doesn't all matter. right. If you're not let's, doing any damage, let's, you're getting let's solved go. at that point. Let's go. Let's go to the. Let's go to the card reveals because I really want to talk about the Vespa online. Okay. Comment section. Who who do you got? Who do you got? Just let us know. No, everybody knows the Digimon's winning. But at what point do you think it wins? At what evolution stage do you think it wins? I agree. I think Digimon would body Pokemon all the time. I I agree if you're talking about like Megas and Ultras. But you can't just be like, yeah, my Gabumon that happens to be carrying a pistol for some reason is going to beat this (laughs) like 700 base stat legendary Pokemon. Three Charmanders. That's right, dude. Three Charmanders a trench coat equal one Rayquaza. <laughs> yeah, we, we've done the math. The math if you paint, I mean, you have you done paint. some math. There has been some math if, had, yes. If you paint the trench coat, green, uh, the trench coat green, I mean, you could pass it off. Yeah, you could pass it off as a Rayquaza. <laughs> yeah, it's like Charmanders look kind of like a dragon. <laughs> nah, we gotta use Sean logic here. War Greymon has Drummon Killers. Those are super effective against Dragon type. Yeah, so War Greymon. I would consider War Greymon a uh, Steel Dragon type. So he could hit Rayquaza for super effective, but he could not get hit for super effective damage back. No, you're forgetting about his ability. His ability is Draymon Killers. Quad effective. Yeah, his claws. Dragon. That's why he's able to one hit kill Machine Dramon and uh, Metal Siege Dramon. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't doubt War Greymon smoking Rayquaza. Oh yeah, yeah. No one ever. Yeah, you never asked me that. You're just like, but what if Gabumon has a gun? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's Gabumon <laughs> with a gun. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Go to card reveals. Go to card reveals. But like, hear me out. <laughs> this guy right here, he's got a gun. He does. He's carrying. He's packing he heat. heat. It was the only I'd ever agree with Gabumon doing anything. I was like, yep, he's got it. He's got a gun. Matt, he's got a gun. All right, weekly reveals. Uh, looks like we have uh, Altart Shumon, Brandon's favorite Digimon. We do love the shoe. Yep. And we have this girl. This is hey, Agumon. Sort of, that's like a mech Agumon. Yeah, it's probably like uh, the top of a building, like a. Uh, yeah. You see, like it looks like it's like a. It's very square. Yeah. It's cool. I like that art. Yeah. Then we have Cindrilmon. So she's like Cinderella, I guess. That's the vibe I was getting because they are. It does feel like each of her forms is based uh, on. Like, a, yeah, based she's on, a, like, a, a Disney a princess. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you said skip these. Yeah, skip these. We'll get higher quality. Even of them, the effects uh, as we go. Yep, they are repeated as well. Okay, cool. Uh, Altart uh, Metallic Jamon. Uh, white. Dra- yeah, we have Galaxy Eyes Dragon. Oh. 
I think I like the alt art from EX3 better, but I mean this does look good. I mean Brand's yeah, right. He sent good. he sent me this. It is just Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. It does look like it, yes. This is it, man. This hits. It's very This gets me somewhere. Yeah, I got to It what? I got to have this. this oh, yeah, no. I've got to change my pants up. after this. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Something about a dragon and like neon blue galaxy. Oof. Dude, it just gets me. Uh, this looks very sick. This yeah. See, volcanic that one is I, also very good. Not, uh, I look at this one and I don't like it as much. Because it's not blue. This looks this looks better to me than the other one. Like I think this looks cool. They both look super cool to me. They like do. the last one just looks like Cyber Dragon mixed with Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Uh huh. And I'm here for Ugh. it. This one looks blue cool. eyes shining Beautiful. dragon. Oof. Yes. All right. Very so good we, alt arts though. We have a Goonimon. Um, Ew. Don't we already know what this does, or is this new? This is brand new. It's this getting even new. more the support, part? dude. This, yes, this is, Sean. What? Dude, the, what, dude what Sean, is, you don't understand. What is Bandai going to be happy with Red Hybrid and how it does? Sean, Sean, it's listen to me. The entire hybrid set. The entire Facebook group is with you. They're done with these decks getting support, especially Red Hybrid. Yeah. They don't mind the Blue Hybrid stuff because it's never really been good, especially the Lobomon stuff, but they're about done with this being Dude, supported. for real, like, Red Hybrid does not need more support. You can yeah, basically always play it's like it. One of the, it's, new Evo condition. it's one of the only uh, car decks Brandon likes, so we're like, pooping all over his one of his only few decks <laughs> over here like we're going we're winning i need, I need something so he's got a new they bubble. literally just got support in this the previous set i don't understand <laughs> all right whatever yeah, what you, goonimon what here, huh? bt18 cool i guess oh, hold on it's sean sean you should actually like this though there is because they're doing this season again there's another chance that we get uh satan mode and yeah, but and super rare, but you're also gonna get Lord Nightmon Ace. We already know that. So Lord Nightmon X antibody, maybe. Yes. Okay. We're getting Ace. Oh. Well, I know we're getting, we're getting Ace. I remember like that it. being announced, but like, hopefully, we get a Lord Nightmon X. Could could be both. It'd be yeah. sick. But if you notice with these new uh, level four hybrids, instead of saying they can Evo in the text on top of a tamer, they just added an Evo bubble up top that just says Tamer for three. Interesting. Um, Hold so, on. So no matter what, it's three cost? On any no, it tamer. says right there. Two. Yeah. Oh, two. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, he has okay. an alternate Evo cost, which Sean will yeah, yeah. you hear when he reads it. So okay. a Goonimon. Uh, Digivolves on top of Takuya Kambara or Burn... Or Takuya Kambara for two. Burning Greymon for zero. Or a level three or a red or purple tamer for three memory. Mm -hmm. When did you evolve? You may return one card with the hybrid or ten warriors trait, or one tamer card with inherited effects from your trash to the hand. Inheritable, your turn. Oh, to that's great. Two thousand DP. Yeah, yeah right. just give them. Re yep, just give them recurrent. It's yep. literally okay, all they. Cool. It's all they were missing. Like that's the only thing I think. That's they, what they need. Yeah. I need Brandon are... to complain about his. Yeah, I need Brandon to complain about his Aldemon being in trash. Well, I can't get to it, and now I can get to it. Great. Now, uh, now our three color boy, three color Emperor now, Draymond, this red, green, and blue. Lore, lore wise, doesn't this make sense? Yes, because when he became Emperor, he was his own. He, got he was JP, JP he got uh, Tommy. Tommy, okay, so lore wise, this makes sense. Yeah, the uh, the Garuru will make a lot more sense too because he gets the other side. Yes, right. the other ones. So he evos on top of Takuya Kambara with five hybrid trait cards under it for five memory. Or he evos on top of green, that. red, or blue for five. Uh, okay. When digivolving for each color in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, trash any one Digivolution card of one of your opponent's Digimon and suspend one of their Digimon. Then this Digimon may attack. Your turn once per turn when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle it gains security attack plus one for the turn and unsuspend it. Oh, he'll probably have piercing, so... Yeah, you have piercing with the new one, so yeah, cool. I can't wait to get Wombo comboed by an unsuspending red deck that pierces me. Why would they give it access to... I mean, 
They give it green and blue effects, which it definitely did not need. What? It definitely needed that. Yeah, dude. I. Oh <laughs> no, no, no! So stupid, dude. Uh, then we the have guys, he's even going for five. Magnet Kid Mon Alt Art. This looks pretty cool. His like oh revolver legs. Yeah, I do. Uh, I somebody agree. posted this on the Digimon page. It is definitely giving huge Trigon vibes. Huge what vibes? Yeah, Trigon. Trigon. Yeah. Unfamiliar. If you know, you know. I do not. So I guess yeah. I. Don't. I love how quickly we move. Best than for Greymon. Good on you, Sean. I'm. I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it speaks for itself. Alter oh. Gundramon. This looks. That's guns. That is a that is a lot of guns, dude. It's America the card. America, yeah, America. I I have a thing that I want. All right, I want the actual card itself to be textured, where the texture pattern is bullet holes. Well, they they did that on the Gundramon from the. Uh, yeah, the original. No, not the original. The original was a rare. It didn't have texture. The. A uh, premium Bandai Gundramon, um, that oh. that they had put texture on that, and the bullet holes yeah. were like the texture. I'm saying I want yeah. the texture itself to be bullet holes, like little tiny dots, like that are shattered, just all over the card. I mean, I, I think that would look. Sick. I must not have done a good job of explaining it, but that's exactly what. Yeah, they that's did exactly today. what Sean. Yeah, that's exactly what Sean just said. Um, Lobomon. Hey, I like this guy because he's a yellow warrior. Uh, <laughs> Evo's on top of Koji for two memory or Kendo Garu for zero. Um, also, Evo's on top of a yellow blue tamer or yellow blue level three for three memory. When did evolving search your security stack? You may add one card with the hybrid or 10 warriors trait among them to the hand. If you added recover plus one, then shuffle your security stack. Inheritable when attacking. If you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, draw one. I don't okay. think Unimon's better. I don't care. I mean, you're right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I mean, at least we're at least we're getting to use our security as like a second hand. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's definitely not bad, but I agree with Brandon. I think the other one's better. Yeah, but this guy being well, just because this guy being a warrior in level uh yellow is pretty nice. The the Goonimon is better because its previous support and cards are better. Yes, that is like true. I think if yeah. the other I think if the other blue hybrid cards for Lobomon were up to that level or even close to that, this would be really good. Yeah, if they'd been yeah. pumping blue hybrid sport as consistently they've been giving us red hybrid sport, yeah, I would agree with you. But well, I am very happy to say that we do have a Magna Guru in his velocity form. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah. Is this the stuff breaking apart? Yep. Like yeah. In the art? Okay. He's got all the, yeah, all the armor. He's got his lightsabers. Cool. So Magna Guru Mon. Oh, yellow, yellow purple, purple, black. black. Um, yep. He was on top of Koji with five hybrid trait cards under it for five memory. Uh, when evolving end of opponent's turn once per turn by placing one Digimon card in the Digimon's Digivolution cards at the bottom of your security stack. Delete all of your opponent's Digimon at the same level as the placed card. All turns once per turn mm -hmm. when a Digimon attacks by adding the top card of your security stack to the hand, unsuspend this Digimon. Oh, okay. That's pretty so cool. is the inheritables the inheritables sh should be i mean since it's going to be possibly black and purple maybe i'm thinking blocker retaliation i'm yellow. thinking i'm thinking it probably is going to get access to blocker because like otherwise it being all turns being yeah. able to unsuspend itself wouldn't make any sense but it's going to double swing yeah, least, right. which is cool i'm really i'm really looking forward to see what the new uh bayo and the new alda do um with these cards yeah. in mind because the level fives usually are what makes the cards like stupid good. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. I see it. I see a train. Alt art, Bill Star Ace. That's pretty cool. Yeah, looks nice. Just enough under boob. It's crazy, dude. Because like this edge right here is basically like the bottom of where you would expect her nipple to be. So like, yeah, where one. Uh, you know what? I was just. I'm glad you brought this up. I was just listening to a podcast where we were talking about this. They were like. Where's the nipple go? So I have said this multiple times. I've told you guys this. So there are no genders in Digimon because they don't have genitalia. Uh, yep. So there are no nipples. There are no vaginas. They just look like humans. Like there's no nipple <sighs> underneath this. It's just boob. No, it's like nipples. a Ken doll or something. Tell that like to a the R34 artist. 
I mean, I'm just yeah, telling tell you. Tell that like, to the artists out there. Yeah. But one wrong <laughs> jiggle and these babies are falling out. Uh, um, knowing how uh, women clothes work nowadays, it probably has like a sticky, like tape like material. Yeah, I was going to say pasties. Place. True. Okay. Uh, Everyone be quiet. We got trains. Trailmon. That is an interesting looking train. Uh, so he's from the show. On play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. You may place one Tamer card or one Black Level 4 or lower Digimon card among them. As it's Digimon's bottom Digilution card, return the rest to the top or bottom of your deck. End of opponent's turn once per turn. You may play one Tamer card from this Digimon's Digilution cards without paying the cost. Inheritable, your turn this Digimon with the Machine Trait Gains Collision. Let's okay, go. So machine machine, machine support. Yeah. Yeah. No, support. No, Train Support. Dog this literally brings your analogs out for free. <laughs> so wow. train. The only bad part about this is this guy has to survive until the end of your opponent's turn to play the tamer out. Well, I was gonna ask you. I was gonna ask you this. Mm -hmm. So let's say for some wild, so for some wild thing, that this deck gets like some kind of tamer oh, and it's okay. like a mind link tamer <laughs> some crazy just, thing just like could, a tamer yeah some crazy thing couldn't you just unmind link it you could if okay. it's if it's All not right. a mind link tamer that has the end of turn effect this would have right, to survive right, right, right. until the end of your opponent's turn but yeah if it's yeah, a mind link tamer that just has the end of turn effect you could just unmind link it okay yeah okay i think that's probably the goal but like i guess they gave you like yeah. an extra stipulation in case you hit like an analog youth or analog man yeah yeah it would obviously be best to be like, okay, turn one, do this, and hope your opponent just doesn't immediately like, kill it with like an option card or something. Yes. Uh, then we have Lilithmon X Altar. That looks pretty cool. Her boobs got smaller. Yeah. I Am guess I... that theory is wrong about X Anti. I I can't tell. No, the but like her regular art, the they're way. bigger, but like her, they're smaller. Right, right. Art. That's what I I'm saying. The theory that, that X Antibody makes them bigger. I did see a troll post where somebody took the SpongeBob that's like licking. Oh stuck yeah, it right it's like it's like right feet. here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah this, this does look really nice though. Oh god. <laughs> then we have uh, Yuki Alt Art. Well, that's pretty Sean's cool. Yeah, I'm definitely playing this deck when it comes out. Sean, are you sweating? Is that sweat right there? Where? Are you okay, buddy. I don't know. I just you looked a little flushed. Yeah, man. I'm so excited to play um, <laughs> this like alt gallant online, dude. That looks yeah, sick. Yeah, uh, you're not gonna see their effects if you scroll down. These are actually already English translated. So Yo, let's go. Oh, Punkmon. These are already. We already have these. Oh, that's sick. I didn't know that. Yeah. The, okay, so I don't know why, but we started getting BT18 stuff leaked before EX7 was even done. <laughs> so these are the last three cards of EX7. Well, good. Okay. I've been wanting to see what these cards do. Uh, so Eve's on top of level three with evil trait for two memory. That's every Antmon. Uh, okay. When yeah. digivolving, if you have one or fewer tamers, you may play one Yuki from your hand without paying the cost. Dope. Inheritable uh, plus 2,000 DP. That's pretty good. Uh, Loudmon. Uh, Eve's on top of level four with dark dragon, evil dragon trait for three. So that's every... I'm pretty sure that's every um, Growlmon. I'm pretty sure they're Dark Dragon. Uh, rule trait has Dark Dragon type. On play, when Digivolving, trash two cards in your hand, then delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 7,000 DP or less. So that's one of the effects that lets you uh, keep your hand small. Uh, your turn while you have... Do what? I'm back. Okay. Uh, it's never froze during the stream before. That was crazy. Yeah. Wild. I yeah, didn't even I notice you guys lost. were gone until you popped back in. Yeah, I gotcha. completely lost Sean. He was in the middle of reading Punkmon, and he just cut out entirely. Yeah, Punkmon's easy. You get to play a Tamer in Hairball 2000 DP. Yeah. yeah, I have a, uh, a I have a condition, Sean. Um, you're not going to understand this, but every time you say the Tamer name, you have to say, Yuki... Just like that. Okay. Yeah, I know. I already know. I know what he's doing, Sean. Don't do it. I mean, I wasn't going to anyway. That sounds dumb. Okay, good. Good. All right. So what's this do? On play and when did you evolving? It's getting both. Okay. Yeah. Trash two cards in your hand, then delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 7,000 DP or less. This is going to be one of the ways to keep your hand small. 
Yeah. yeah. Um, inheritable, your turn while you have four or fewer cards in your hand. All of your Digimon with the Dark Dragon or Evil Dragon trait gain security attack plus one. All Digimon. Yeah. Also, okay. he has a rule treated as Dark Dragon type. Okay. Dying. All right. Now we got Heavy Metal Dramon. Pretty sick looking. Uh, when Digivolving, evolving, trash two cards in your hand. Then delete one of your opponent's Digimon with as much or less DP as this Digimon. It's going to be really fat, so 15. it's yeah, it's going to at least be fifteen. Uh, end of your turn, once per turn, you may play one card with the evil Dark Dragon or Evil Dragon trait and play cost of eight or less from your trash without paying the cost. For each card in your hand, remove one from this effect's play cost maximum. So this is the payoff for keeping your hand small. Mm. So, I mean, you Evo into this guy, get rid of two cards. Evo into this guy, get rid of two cards. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I guess the, I mean, it, the, the goal is the cool arts, to play this guy. Well, this guy's only seven The arts cost. look six. They do. Yeah. I'm, I'm really liking um, these. I'm curious what the alt arts are going to look like. I love how they made his hair green, but it's still like in the style of Beelzemon. Yeah. It definitely just looks like Megidramon and Beelzemon, like just <laughs> yeah, the fusion dance, like yeah, came together, which makes sense because Beelzemon gives off rocker vibes. So like this whole line just makes so much sense. Yeah. Okay. This, cool. I'm very excited about that deck. I think it'll be now. Uh, here, please, here are the please. cards. Here are the cards I'm excited for. Let's go. All right. Tiger Vespamon, Piercing and Reboot, uh, on play slash when digivolving for each of your face-up security cards. Suspend one of your opponent's what? Digimon, then none, of their <laughs> yep, Digimon yep. then none of their Digimon can unsuspend until the end of their turn. All turns once per turn. When other, when other Digimon are deleted <laughs> in battle, this Digimon may unsuspend. Rule trait has Insectoid trait. Or Insectoid what? type. Yep. And what is its typing, Sean? Uh, Cyborg X Antibody Royal Base. Royal Base. Royal Base. This yep. is royally based. This is so I would good. agree with that. I love this card. All right, let's see how uh, stuff gets flipped face up. Uh, security, all turns, all of your Royal Base trait Digimon get plus 1,000 DP. So this effect is not it getting security. checked out of security. This is it being face up in security. Yup. Hey, yo, I'm already looking yep. at the I yep. told you. Yup, I told you. Uh, opponent's turn. None of your opponent's Digimon with as much or less DP as this Digimon can attack players. Uh, that's pretty filthy. Uh, yep. Yep. Inheritable yep. all turns. Yep. This Digimon gets 1,000 DP. <laughs> bees. Not the bees. Dude, this, it's the bees knees archetype. <laughs> Yep. Um, and they're all royal base remember that yeah they're all royal base uh and insectoid type uh yep. cannon beam on uh security oh, and this was a cyborg by the way <laughs> yeah security effect oh yeah yeah this is also a <laughs> yep. cyborg yep. Yep. Uh, they're all cyborgs yeah mm -hmm. uh security effect um this is also when it's face up in security opponent's turn all of your royal base trait digimon gain blocker and then on play slash when digivolving for each of your face up security cards, de evo one one of your opponent's Digimon. Inheritable oh, all right. turns <laughs> once per turn when Sigimon deletes your opponent, your opponent's Digimon in battle, trash their top security card. Oh my god. So that's machine Digimon <laughs> support. <laughs> I could not oh, ask for any more. I'm telling you, I'm loving this and deck. We got Forge Beamon, uh face up security effect, all turns, all of your royal base trait Digimon get a thousand DP. All turns when any of your other Digimon with the royal base trait would leave the battle area by effects by placing this Digimon face up as the bottom security card they don't leave. Inheritable all turns this Digimon gets plus 1000 DP. He's also a liberator for some reason. Uh, yes. That's weird. So this guy is Brandon basically Dave. good decoy that also recovers you. Yep. Yeah, it recovers hey. you. They heard our calls for good for good bees, Brandon, and they said we got you. Fast. Bees, yeah, we got you. Bees. <laughs> and we're still not done. Uh, Vespamon, also a black uh, level five cyborg, um, face up security effect. Opponent's turn. All of your royal base trait Digimon gain blocker on play slash when digivolving. Delete one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of two or less. For each of your face up security cards, add to this two to this effect's play cost maximum. Inheritable all turns. Once per turn, when the Digimon deletes your opponent's Digimon in battle, trash your top security card. 
So hear me out. I don't know if the has, if Sean, do you know if the level three's been uh, revealed for this deck? Yeah, I am not I sure. I haven't seen it. It so, could be later. Okay, so hear me out. This is my guess because all of them are royal base. I think, and because these and we got they show they've shown us two level four no two level fours and two level fives now. Yeah. And yeah. two level sixes okay. because we're about to get to the next one. Yeah. Right. I think I think the level threes are going to be one of those things where it's like you can play as many copies as this as you want, it's and that's one of the. B. Yeah, the level three is going to be one of the possible ways you get cards into your security. If you like, you have so many, like you can put uh, them face it's up. It's going to be like security. a reaper where once per turn you can just put one in. Maybe. Right. Queen Beamon, Alliance. Cool. Oh. Uh, when it's uh -oh. when it's acting once per turn, you may play one royal base trait Digimon card from your face up security cards with the play cost reduced by eight. Nah. Uh, all Let's turns. Go. Here it is right here. All turns when any of your royal base trait Digimon will leave the battle area other than in battle, you may place those Digimon face up as your bottom security cards. Now, I love I this deck say, so much. I will say, um, it's probably not going to be good right out the bat. Because depending on how they do uh, 18 to 20 for us, uh, you guys have not been paying attention to the set number of these cards. Yeah, they're BT-19 BT cards. BT-18 is the Tiger, the Wasp, and the Cannon B. Oh, BT-19 yeah. is Forge B. Nah, Best I don't care. With these being in English already, these have to be intended to be in the first wave. Yeah, they've got I to. Hope so. I hope so. I want to play big Bs. Because, like, why would they do that? No, because this is going to be combined in Japan too, it's isn't it? Off. Or no? Yeah, I think this will also be combined in Japan. No, Japan has Japan has them separately. Okay. Um, well, either way, this clearly looks because oh these my. are already in English. This has to be a two point plan. Hold on, so. hold on. Now we better. This better not be their tamer. I, I was really hoping we'd have got the tamer from Cyber Sleuth. I think it yeah. is. Uh, winner. <sighs> uh, start of your main not phase. Not. I mean, if, his name sucks. If you have. Uh, face up security cards, gain one memory. Main, by suspending this tamer, one of your Digimon may digivolve into a Digimon card. In your face up security cards, if this effect digivolve, you may place one Digimon card with a royal base trait from your hand, face up as your bottom security card. It's literally like, it's like an overtuned yellow vaccine deck. Yo. Hey, I'm, I, Sean, I'm Sean, be honest, be honest. Will this possibly be the first time you play a green deck? Uh, it might because be. this is basically this is basically like a yellow deck with a green skin. Uh, yes. He'll be too busy the set playing Lord Nightmon. Assuming we get oh. the stuff, it might not come out in this one. It might be two point five. Hey, hey, I'm liking I'm liking this B supports. I only knew about the Tiger Vespon and the um the uh, the Cannon B Mon. I hadn't seen any of the other ones, but oof. I only I didn't really know about any of their effects besides like something about face up security, but I just know yep. that, I just know that this keyword is different from a normal security keyword from a yes. post I saw. Yeah, I just thought it was so cool that like they we're gonna have face up security now. Like that's just so interesting. Yeah, I'm I'm happy whenever they introduce new mechanics like that that aren't cross. Um, purple uh, hybrid cross? support. Uh, Velgrim. Yep, we're finally finally getting him. What? Yep. Uh. This is this is the tr not the true. This, this is, is the, the form of the evil hybrid guy before he becomes good. Okay. Yeah, before he becomes um, what is Lowy he Mon. in? Lowy, uh, you know Loimon. Yeah, of course I play purple hybrid. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this, yeah Scooby Doo. This is yeah, yeah. This is uh, Koji's before brother. Gets, yeah. Yeah, Koji's brother before he becomes like a good guy. He's like he was evil. Okay. Because he was the dark hybrid. Yeah. Uh, Velgermon. Eve is on top of Koichi uh, for three memory or Duskmon for one. Uh, or Evos for four memory on Jesus. a purple Jesus. level three or purple tamer. He's a level four. Uh, on play slash wind evolving for each color among your opponent's Digimon and tamers. Trash the top ca card of both players' decks. Then this oh, Digimon no. gets a thousand DP Boy. for each card trashed by this effect for the turn. End of attack by deleting one purple level four or lower Digimon. Delete all of your opponent's Digimon at the lowest level and heritables retail. Oh no. I just That's realized really he's seven thousand. He's, he's a seven thousand seven play costs. Yeah. 
I mean, his effect seems I mean, pretty powerful, so I guess it makes sense that he costs so much. Yeah, I mean, if if they have their if they have Emperor or um, Magna on the board, oh yeah, true. Uh, triple you're, color you're cards trashing. are kind of a drawback. Yeah, you might be able to deck them. Yeah, out. yeah, you're trashing them. You're trashing them pretty heavy. So I don't know. I like it. It's pretty cool. It it definitely needs more support for oh, sure. Absolutely. Like, Next, we have the EX7 two-star rares. Uh, the special or, rares. I'm sorry, SP. Yeah. SP, my bad. I can't tell what this is. That's the, the I think his name's like Gale Mon or something like that. Oh, it's the Liberator He's stuff the Liberator that I'm not going to play. I have no idea. I think this is, is I mean, the Heavy Metal German or whatever. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, because they all... Yeah, because yeah. it, it's purple red. So yeah, this is that guy. That was his name, right? Heavy Metal Dramon. Yeah, I, I think so. so. Yeah, Heavy Metal Dramon. Yeah, that they all look cool. sick. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, they all but, look good. Yeah, with without without actually like holding the cards and looking at them in person, yeah, they just kind of look. Yeah. Yeah, it's just hard to like. Um. Beale Star, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's Beale yeah, Star. Regular the Ace. And then, so uh, this is on. yeah Cinderella. Interesting. Then we oh. have the two star chase of the set. Uh, you know, I like star that. X. Yeah, this Looks is probably going to look very pretty. It's a shame it's going to be like a $500 card. Um, uh, yeah. Duskmon. Eve's on top of Koichi for two memory or Velgramon for one. Otherwise, three memory for a tamer or level three. On so that's what he looked like before uh, he became low Emon. Okay. Oh my god. That first line. On play slash when digivolving until the end of your opponent's turn, change one of the Digimon or Tamers into a color other than white. Uh, Whoa. When attacking, one of the Digimon or Tamers may digivolve into a level 4 card with the hybrid trait from your trash with the digivolution cost reduced by 1. Inherited on deletion, you may play one tamer card with a play cost of four or less from your trash without paying the cost. That's pretty sick. That's yeah. Sick. I, these two cards by themselves are very good, but again, it's gonna need more cards. Well, this guy combined with Rehimon also, is already like a massive recycle yes. engine. Like you'd actually net Super gain a good. tamer off of it. Like you, yeah, would, yeah. you'd play two tamers off SR. of it getting deleted. Yeah, this is an, is an SR. So he's probably getting an alt art, which is gonna be sick. But yep. if, if you notice in his normal art. This actually completes the image of Lobomon. The very first Lobomon to be printed had Duskmon in the background. Is and now, he... if you look in the corner, you have Lobomon in the background, and they're in the exact same poses. Huh. That's actually hmm. really cool. That's pretty nifty. Because, I, yeah, I was like, why? who is that in the back? And I saw Lobo, and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, this, this uh, card yeah, is cool really, really good with just the BT7 Rehimon. Yeah. Love it. Uh, then we have, yep, Vortex Resonance, Alt Art Secret Rare Option Card. Cool. Did the original yeah, art not just have all three of them, and now the Alt Art just has him? Yeah, and it's no, got, she's like, in the background. they're in, like, yeah, the, she's just, just light back here. Nah, but, yeah. that's, that's whack. It should have had all of them on it. I agree. Yeah, I hate that card. The Gospel of the Fallen Angel, Seven Great Demon Lords Trait. Uh, five cost purple option main. Your Digimon in the breeding area may digivolve into Lucimon from your trash without paying the cost. Then place oh. this card in the battle area. Main delay by digivolving one of your Digimon with Lucimon in its name into a Digimon card with Lucimon in its name from your trash with the digivolution cost reduced by three. Trash one option card in your opponent's battle area. Security place this hmm. card in the battle area. I said get your training cards out of here. Yeah, this is the first interaction with delay cards that we have had. That's pretty cool. I like it. I mean, it's definitely very card. Yeah. Um, I mean, Satan mode is literally in the background. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, he is. I didn't even notice the mouth. Yeah, I yep. don't think you notice the the ball. The What's inside the ball is Lucemon's true form. Oh, yeah. Lucemon's kid form and his adult form are circumvent... I, I, they're around it. They're cuddling it. And then the dragon that holds the ball... And then he's inside the ball. Yo, I cannot wait until we get Satan, but I would definitely be building uh, Lucimon. He will deck. a thousand percent be a secret rare in this set. Hundred percent. Then we have Alt Art Beale Star X. That looks pretty sick. 
Good lord. A lot going on like, in that. Uh, yeah. They put the explosion of the bullet, like, right on her abs. Yeah. It looks like she just fired it, and, like, I guess the recoil, like, put it behind her head, and that's the yeah. bullet. Yeah. Then we have a new Lusamon Chaos mode. Purple, yellow. Such, such good art. Yeah, this looks really good. This is just a regular art, super rare, too. 13,000 mm -hmm. DP, because why not? Level 5. Uh, oh Evo's God, on top Evo's of eight. He's on top of level four. Uh, purple, yellow for eight. Otherwise, Evo's on top of Lusamon for six memory. Um, on play slash. Hey, when did you evolve? Have the option. Yeah, at least it's there. Unlike it's, the other one, it's nice. It's the only way they could build like a deck that actually functioned is giving giving you the ability to do that. Uh. On play slash when digivolving, your opponent may delete one of their Digimon or Tamers. If this effect didn't delete, recover plus one and trash your opponent's top security card. All mm. turns once per turn when the Digimon would leave the battle area by trashing the bottom card of your security stack, it doesn't leave. This sounds exactly like the other one we got. Yeah. Um. So correct me if I'm wrong, but since it says your opponent may delete, uh -huh. you can choose not to delete your Tamer. Yeah, your the opponent... Dude, Chris asked the it's same question choice. when we read the first one. Yeah, you, if your opponent chooses not to, you just get the second part of the effect. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. The last time, they, or a few times before this, when they printed cards like that, it wasn't quite worded that way. Yeah, it's optional for your opponent. It's like the um, the Ravamon Tamer. Yeah. Uh, when you play it, your opponent can trash a Tamer or option card, and if they don't, then you gain a memory and draw a card or whatever. It's the same thing. It's just an optional effect. Uh, no, thank you. You can uh, recover and alter your security. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, then we have Alt Art uh, Balukomon. You excited Hooray. for this, Brandon? Yeah. <laughs> Alt Art Hexamidmon. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's pretty. All it I like to have it. It is pretty. Well, it'll probably be cheap because that deck sounds like it's bad. Yeah. Uh, then we have scroll down for high quality Patamon. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, then we have a new Patamon. This is the most recent leak. BT eighteen Patamon. I don't know what this. Oh is. my god! It's it's the death. No, this is the dead Seraphimon from this the hybrid the season. One that got murdered. So Sean, you remember? Remember? It's gonna be difficult because you've probably never seen this card played or played this card ever, uh -huh. except for the pre-release for the set. Do you remember the black hybrid with the mirrors? Mercurymon. Uh. I Mon. don't remember the art, but yeah, I'm familiar with the card. He's literally like a green guy with mirrors on his arm. Okay. Okay. Basically, in this season, Seraphimon uses his attack, which is the seven, seven stars of judgment, right? Something like that, yeah. He shoots it at Mercurymon. Mercurymon goes, nah. Reflect. Catches, reflect. Kill Seraphimon. Okay. He literally Absor hits him with Wobbuffet counter. Yeah, or just absorbs, mirror forces him. Yeah, yeah mirror absorbs, him. absorbs his power, him. absorbs his power. That's a Rafimon becomes an egg, and then Bokomon, who you should recognize that pink little rat, started carrying around the Seraphimon egg and put as that pink wrap as a baby, put that pink wrap around him, that cloth, and then when it hatched, it was just wearing it. Yeah, so it, this it is magically got a duplicate cloth. In this universe, Seraphimon, one of the strongest Digimon in the universe in, in that season, got killed by a level 4 by just reflecting its own attack back at him. Also, Sean, this is what he looks like. Okay, he's got a mirror shield. Dude, it's Link. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. that's what this oh. pattern is. This Patamon is weak. This all right, so the effect is dope, though. Uh, yeah. ha hand main, if your breeding area is empty, by returning one Digimon card with a three Great Angels trait from your trash to the bottom of the deck, play this card in your breeding area without paying the cost. That's pretty good. So it's Remote effectively an extra hatch without actually wasting a Tama. Yeah. Also on top of that, well, I don't know, because that means in your next breeding phase, you can promote him, but you don't get a hatch. I guess that's fair. Yeah, but you're still promoting next turn without wasting a time. You're still promoting a pattern, yeah. yeah. And you get to recycle stuff, which is good. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. still um, very cool. Yeah, I think the three great angels kinda, archetype is going to be pretty, uh, pretty sick. Kind of wish it had like somewhat of an inheritable, but maybe that'd been too much. I, f- um, I feel like that was their thought, but I think it yeah. probably could have used one like opponent security gets minus a thousand or two thousand yeah they could have put something on it just to give it an inheritable but i, I guess mean, they were like this is already too powerful Sarafimon and stuff like that so we'll definitely see i mean we're getting a pretty sick Sarafimon in the next set we're about to get ex6 yeah. i think is what it is yeah that's that's a um, ace is really good yeah before we move on to comment questions because mm-hmm. that is the last card uh, did we know about the rule change uh, for... Oh, we Leviathan? can talk... Hold on, let me uh, do my thing and we can talk about that because I actually forgot mm-hmm. about that until you just said something. One second. Because, yeah, I was looking through Reddit the other day. And One it second, Brandon. Digimon Reddit. Quit talking. Yeah, shut up! Shut up. Okay, yes, now we can discuss. So what All was right, the rule so, change? Yeah... They ju- like I don't know if we've talked about this prior because I know we talked about a rule change a little while ago. I don't know if this is a part of it. This is different. But yeah, this is different. Okay, so Japan just got a rule change specifically regarding Leviamon. Leviamon like effects, but yeah, a Leviamon like effects essentially. Um, you can now interrupt Leviamon's double pop. Yep. But. Doesn't you that do just kind of kill that card? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it makes Grace it. Nova, it makes the line, line a lot worse. Yeah. Grace Nova just cheered. Uh, any cards with evade just cheered. Uh, well, evade doesn't cheer. Well, you evade unsuspend. Well, okay, Garu Melga. You wouldn't. You wouldn't get a chance to unsuspend, my dude. Really? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. So Melga's still screwed. Yeah, you still lose. Uh, Graymon. Graymon cheers. Graymon Machine sings Graymon up. Cheers. Cards that have like just built-in protection like that are like yeah. Eight. Doesn't this just kill that? That no one's gonna play that now because that was like one of the big benefits of that was people couldn't dodge the the, the kill issue. effect. I don't think they it's had to play wide. I don't think it's gonna super nerf the deck, but it definitely makes it worse because of the rule change. But like, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Yeah, um, we do not know when. This is going to be implemented into the English rule set because at the moment it's right now. Brain. That's no. Because <laughs> we'll have to wait for them to make an official announcement about when this comes into effect. Yeah, because so as we... of right now, it's still not interruptive. Hey, we still you know haven't what? gotten the other rule changes that they announced like a month or two ago. Any I guess. feel like I feel like they did this because it was just way too confusing for people. They they were tired of seeing the Facebook group of, hey, can I can I. Can I not die to this if I do such and such? I don't think that would ever be a reason for them to change a ruling. <laughs> I think they were just like, hey, this is kind of broken, huh? Yeah, we really didn't. Or, it's really like, why, would, we? why wouldn't yeah. you? Because like, like, thinking about it, like, why wouldn't I be able to just do the same thing again if I still have the effect? Like, It makes no sense like logically for me not to be able to trigger an interruptive effect multiple times if I have the ability to. Yeah, because hey, normally it would be, okay, target to delete. Okay, save. Okay, target to delete again. But instead, it's target to delete. Okay, target to delete. What? Like <laughs> it like cuts you off while you're trying to. Just yeah. Like, no, no, no. Do it again. Okay. So, so uh, that's... there's actually a comment in this post that is explaining why they were forced to make the rule change. Okay. Oh. Okay. New card Anyone interaction. Who isn't I'm sure. aware. The reason for it was to prevent BT-11 Sukumon protection from ping-ponging off of each other forever, as technically, the cards can legally do so. BT-11? So they created this rule to prevent it. BT-11 Sukumon? I guess. BT-11? Bring it up. There is no BT-11? Question mark? <laughs> BT-11's a myth? <laughs> It's a uh, across time, right? Yeah, you said Sukaimon. Suka, Suka. I think it's oh, a, a new card. Oh, Sukaimon, the poop deck card. Okay, I was thinking of the little purple uh, Patamon. I was like, I don't think there was one of those in the set. Okay, so on deletion, no, 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 inheritable. All turns when this Digimon would be deleted by deleting one other Digimon with Sukaimon in its name, prevent that deletion. 
Oh, five, you have two of them. <laughs> doop, 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 doop. Is that what they're talking about? If you oh, yeah. have two of them out, you can target one and then target the other, and they're just like, no, prevent, no, prevent, no, prevent, no, prevent, no, prevent, no, prevent, and it would just keep doing that. But doesn't this yeah, rule change they, make it to where you can do that? You can't do that now. I know, but like this rule change it's doesn't eruptive. doesn't keep that from happening in my head, but I must be misunderstanding. Um, also, somebody replied to that basically saying uh, they already had a rule implemented for infinite loops. It's 13 one dash or I'm sorry 13 dash one dash one dash three if both of the players are given the opportunity to stop the infinite loop during their actions first the turn player declares to repeat the circular behavior a certain number of times then the turn player the then the turn player's opponent declares to repeat the circular behavior a certain number of times then the circular behavior is performed then smaller number of times declared and the circular behavior is stopped in a state where that player can make one of the choices. That player is bold for some reason, by the way. Uh, can make one of the choices that can end the circular behavior. Then, when the game state is complete, completely this is when the infinite loop started, which cards are being in the same in all areas, you can't choose to perform the circular behavior again unless the choice is mandatory. What? Yeah, I... Rule, rule hey, anyways, are weird. Um, the only infinite loop I've seen um, so far is the Pal Palmon and Mirage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's technically not an infinite loop. You'll eventually deck out like yeah. Um, it, has and an, it has an end point. Yeah, and that's actually passing. <laughs> like you're passing turn. Like phases are. Yeah, being yeah I know, but it's still funny. It's it still is funny. funny. I forget about it. Um, the only one I've seen where like a per. I've seen a person literally explain the interaction and then be like, okay, I'm going to do this five times. And then a later in their turn, they're like, okay, I'm going to do it five more times is the Waru Cedra combined with dimension scissor mm, is mm -hmm. you attack and then you basically trigger the effect. And then there's, and there was, I think a tamer or something. There was some other interaction that was gaining him memory off of that. And so he just was like, in, he would show, he would demonstrate the effects and like the loop and be like, okay, go to 10. And then he would use his memory and be like, okay, do it X amount of times, oh, go back to 10. It's like the infinite memory, uh, all force, uh, build that people were making with the arena and the, uh, or the infinite attack. I'm sorry. The infinite attack, all force loop. It kind of like that, except for you can't attack security with it because the yeah. basis of the effect you is you're attacking that Digimon that you're playing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like you would just get, he just gained memory. He would max himself out to 10 every time he wanted to and just use up the memory and then do it again. That's the only thing I've ever seen where it was truly like, I can do this as much as I want to always go back to 10 memory. It required a good bit of setup first, but I mean, if you got it off, you could do whatever you wanted. Okay. So in conclusion, ruling is complicated. Rules do be weird. Yeah, remember when this game was simple, guys? When like you evoed up into like <laughs> effectively a Phoenix vanilla boss one. monster, yeah. And you're like, I'm just gonna evo into this level six. It blows up your stuff, and then after that, it swings hey, twice. But like that's that's it, card dude. games. That's card games, baby. The more cards that come out, the c more complicated it's gonna get. Like Our this this real. game used to be very very simple, but because of how inheritables work and stuff like that and like all the new interactions and keywords and stuff like this game has quickly become extremely complicated yeah comment questions all right a desmond milers 3114 says comment question is anyone at your locals planning to play imperial Dramon blue green uh i believe there is one person he's right here he just played he's, it he's right there yep uh, the deck profile will go up on the channel yesterday for those of you that are watching. It is literally just something I threw together, too. I was like, okay, so uh, I knew with the new Dave Davis and Ken's, like, mm -hmm. I was like, you got to play the Searcher Vmon and the Searcher Wormon, and I wanted equal amounts of both. Mm -hmm. You're obviously going to play the promo Vmon, which unfortunately is probably going to be the hardest card for people to get because Brandon 
he liked to joke around and said, because I needed one more Hawkmon because I'm going to build Sylphie. Uh, just to prove to you guys, it's just mid. Um, <laughs> and uh, I needed one more Hawkmon because we just happen to have three. And so Brandon said, oh, wait for the gift boxes to come out. They'll drop in price. Guess what, guys? Yeah, give it like they're a week the, or two. No, they're the exact same price. They're going to stay the exact same price because guess what? The only two printings of it, one one people consider the true rarity, and the other people are like that card just looks better. Yeah, the so gift box I think they will better. stay. They will stay at matching prices. Unfortunately, or close. So if the V mods gonna be the hardest. The level fours you can play however you want. Uh, I mean, I like to have an equal amount of Sting mods and XV mods. I know a lot of people are like. Oh, I play the Lydramon because you have, it's a blue and a green. Also possible, sure, I guess. I mean, well, it'll Digivolve doesn't really work. Yeah, like there's so many different ways you can build build Imperial Dramon with all the different cards, so it'll be fun. It's fun. I enjoyed it. D Lacey eighteen ninety five. Uh you have lamented before about purple having alliance, which it always has had, so does yellow. But there are colors that have stolen keywords. For example, Blitz. Blitz is shared with red and black and technically purple. What are some other color-locked keywords that you think should be shared? What purple card has Blitz? Yeah, what purple card has Blitz? Uh, isn't it one of the uh, uh, Gallant support cards? I guess that's what they mean by technically purple. I don't know. I don't have the the mind capacity for this i think hold on when like did generic, like level fours or something like that when did yellow have alliance oh it's always had it it's part of the alliance deck remember the alliance the, deck is like four different colors yeah the alliance the deck alliance is deck. what establishes what colors have alliance it's yellow green purple and yeah, black okay. i think it's basically everything that's right that's blue. right the thing Until we were saying was yellow about, uh purple having alliance is specifically to a deck that didn't need it which was luga yeah they 100 percent should not have given that deck alliance i think piercing would have been just fine yeah um uh, uh what other keywords digi digi zorption no stop printing dude that'd be that. sick Real. red digi zorption yeah. give me yeah yeah uh, um i think other decks should have recovery outside of yellow there's no point there's no point in yellow being the only ones that can like recover so consistently. That's their thing. No, at this point, no deck has a thing. Except I, for black. And black is just suck. Yeah, I actually, suck. I actually agree with that take, Chris. I think other decks should have more access to recovery. Like clearly, they're going in that direction because the the B deck recovers technically. Yeah. Um, I think I yellow is just so other colors can have some form of protection. Well, hold on, Sean. The B deck is a yellow deck. The Bs are yellow. The Bs are yellow. I mean, Bs. You're <laughs> not wrong, but like you're also not right. Um, take it fifty-fifty. Yeah, I actually think that's probably the best answer because I think other colors should have access to it because it's one of it's one of the biggest strengths of yellow, and it doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. have to be their thing because they their it's thing can still. Their thing can still be interacting with their security DP reduction, which is broken. Broken. Yeah. Um, like reds. Reds used to be extra security attacks. It would get big, but now every deck has extra security attacks and can get yeah. big. Yeah. So red red doesn't um, really have anything unique anymore. Yeah. I would say raid, but raid starting to cross over into like other colors as well. Yeah. Yeah. So there's no. I think it's smart for them to just do that. Just like get away from like archetype specific, like keywords and just be I mean, like the deck, how about just the archetype yeah it just like make it this color and then just be like okay these effects will work best with this archetype just do that yeah i think that'd be cool like yeah we don't 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 just hinder stuff to certain things you know mm -hmm. uh warrior nk says what combination of digimon do you want to see in a face-off or an alliance or in villainy cahoots in future digimon media i'll let you guys take this question oh okay so uh, there is this uh stigma i guess with evil digimon and how they work 
and I think Argomon, his entire line, and Diaboromon are so similar. I'd love to see them as like a duo, like a villainous duo. Nah, hear together. me out. Hear me out. What if, I agree with Brandon 100% on this, what if they came together and they saw, um, like, like I could, I could see it now. They realize they're back, so they go into Omnimon and they go to whoop on them. And then Diaboromon and Argomon go, why don't we just do that? Now and they we're just, Omnimon. Yeah, and then they DNA into like an evil version of Omnimon. And that could be like Omnimon's like rival. Ooh, That'd be that. pretty sick. That's what I'm saying. Like, because they're all just, the whole thing between their two decks is they're like kind of uh, like Diaboromon, obviously you spawn out. Yeah, Swarm. Argomon was also like Swarm. So they could just like, and the way they created Armageddon Mon. Uh, was it was just combining. like, yeah, by just combining. So what if they two just like look at each other and then they do the fusion dance, boom, evil Omni. So it'd be like Chaos Mon. Yeah. Um, a good alliance I think would be really cool is if you took something like All Force, who's like the fastest Digimon ever, and you mixed him with somebody who's like the best like offensive Digimon. I think that would make a really good pairing, like maybe like a gallant mon. Uh, what if what if we got great a uh, war Greymon riding Kentaros mon? No, Gaiomon, Gaiomon riding him because he's a samurai and Kentaros mon's a horse. He's a horse man. <laughs> okay, wrap around my waist, Gaiomon. I and then and, off, and then Kentaros one shooting his little crossbow, and then Gaiomon's up there with his samurai swords, cutting people well, down as they ride down. Yeah, and it oh, could be a tricolor form. card: yellow, black, Boom. and red. There we go. And it could have shared keywords. Here uh, we go. Magidramon and uh, Full Metal, whatever his name was. Um, Heavy Metal Dramon. Heavy Metal Dramon. I think they'd make a really good buddy cop movie. No, no, hear me out. We we need <laughs> we need metallic metallic Dramon. Is that the giant dragon? Yes. We need a dragon, and then we need a knight that would that could like ride him. Gallant one. Yeah, like Gallant Mon. I think Kinda Gallant like Black or Buster Soldier riding a Blue Eyes Ultimate. Blue Eyes, yep. yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. What about you, Sean? Lord Nightmon and Lord Nightmon X Antibody, you just wanna Lord Nightmon <laughs> and Dynasmon, bro. We've already got that. All right, that was we old. don't have an actual coherent strategy with those two cards. This is in the media, not in the card game, Sean. My bad. Okay, sorry. I forgot the question. Clearly. Obviously, I said it. A Zulongmon and Shenron from Dragon Ball. Oh, Zulong so we are we going boys. outside? Did I I wasn't. No, I was just because they're okay, both. Okay, I was dragons. like, this clearly says Digimon. Like, I don't. I don't really know. I don't. I don't really. Uh, you wouldn't want to see Black War Grandma team up with anybody. Well, I don't. My issue is I don't consume media, so I don't know who actually is already teamed up. Oh, who okay. can? Uh, okay, uh, Black War and Lord Nightmon. Then obviously. Okay, all right. I feel like what that's super obvious. They're they're the good guys, obviously, in Sean's well, I'm eyes. Thinking, I'm thinking of Blades of Glory. I'm, you know, you have I'm the, down with them being bad guys. I don't care. <laughs> you have this. You have the serious guy who takes skating yep. seriously, and then you have the flamboyant, funny one. That's Lord Nightmon. <laughs> I think Lord Nightmon also takes stuff seriously too, doesn't he? No, no, no. <laughs> mm, you haven't seen the media, Sean. <laughs> Like they're not they're not like ha ha funny, but they're definitely like here's a rose, buddy. <laughs> they're like yeah, a little, a little over the top. Is it like the Ginyu Force? Yeah. Oh yeah. no 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Totally. Okay. Funny. That was funny. I could see that, Brandon. Black War Greymon be like, Lord Nightmon, we have to, yeah, we have to get this down. We have, and then I could see them oh, doing I the dancing. Get up and go up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Black one Greymon doing the twirling while holding Lord Nightmon while they're ice skating. Yeah, okay, I'm down. I'm all in. 
Uh, Impact Entertainment says, comment question, sup nerds, Sean, have you thought of breaking up the pod into parts for more YouTube content? I know you have the time timestamps in the pod, which helps a lot because for me personally, I skip the reveals in the top 16 breakdowns and enjoy the rest of the stuff on the pod. Bonus question, how does it feel to be the best Digimon channel today? The only thing holding the channel back for more subscriber is Brandon, JK, LOL. <laughs> I try my best to hold Sean back. That's uh, funny. I actually have considered doing that. Um, the only thing stopping me from doing it is starting it because that would be pretty time consuming just to go back into the past to do it with all the old ones. Um, but I guess I could just start fresh and just start doing it with new new episodes, having just said that out loud. Um, but yeah, I have considered it. Uh, Maybe as you're going through doing the time stamping, you could just break the recording right there and do segments. Yeah. People yeah, but are the like segments that. long? Are the segments long enough to do that for you to warrant wanting to do that? I Some mean, of them, yeah. It, you could either do a short or you could do a yeah, like just a short video. Like it wouldn't be a big deal either way. Do a quick edit of when Chris says something really stupid. That's a lot of quick edits. Yeah. Put post it as a short where it's a. Uh, are you sure about that? <laughs> You sure about that like when you crashed into your uh into his emperor grandma last night and said well i'm gonna get the partition yeah i thought he just wanted to clear my body I... that's on me brandon did you immediately catch it when he said i'm gonna get the partition i guess i'll just crash did... i was like it, it didn't register like i i knew what he was trying to do after i realized he had done it and then I was like, yeah. it, "Oh, I it took everything in me to bite my tongue and not tell you that's how partition worked before you attacked." <laughs> I was like, "Bro, <laughs> like you were throwing so hard." Especially hey. since like the game before, I swung over his dude just so he didn't get partition, and I didn't do it. Yeah, and I didn't do it. Silly. Yeah. Um, Weird. I do appreciate you saying. Uh, this is the best Digimon channel today. I don't know if that's actually true, but you know, I do appreciate you I saying. I mean, we it. applaud the effort. Yes. Um, yeah. If only Brandon. The gameplay just is were honestly better. top tier. Do what? Yeah, I definitely. The gameplay is top tier. Uh -huh. Oh, speaking of which, can we talk about the comment uh, on your video saying that uh, you shouldn't complain about the sim because? They only took ten seconds. Do y'all understand? And I know this has been commented on that guy's comment how much he edits out <laughs> so if you guys would like like just comment down would you like to see a fully unedited version of some of sean's matches on the sim where some literally oh, take cool's matches oh my god yeah literally take 40 seconds to two minutes a turn do you all want to see that if him just sitting there looking at the camera okay yeah he's gonna play a card anytime we can say that the sim needs some sort of turn timer. Yes. That does not mean that we hate the sim. Okay? Just because we can say, hey, this would help improve it doesn't mean that we hate the sim. Okay? Like, that's not what that means. So if y'all want a fully unedited version that I'm sure Sean could find of somewhere where a player took multiple minutes a turn mm -hmm. and then oh, he had to edit back. that out yeah, for one action, turn one, play card. Oh, that took you two minutes to decide? So let us know down in the comments below. Do you guys think that's riveting gameplay? Or will you watch it like how Sean watches his YouTube videos on two times? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, that person commented and was complaining that I complained time. about a clearly edited uh, time skip, which ne I actually... Learned from that and made sure it was clear that I was doing cuts the next time I had to wait for somebody in a, a video that was after that. I think you just need to stare at the camera and then you just a hard cut to one eternity later. And then you're still staring at the camera. Comes back. Oh, okay, he made a move. Yeah. I, I played against one guy and it took him like, it was over a minute to mulligan. Um, but he actually watched the video and commented, and he oh, said yeah, his, yeah. his mouse died. <laughs> 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 the poor guy. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, could you imagine you, know, you finally make it all? You're like, oh, I really just want to be on Sean's channel one day. And you finally make it, and you're sitting there like, this guy sucks. He's taking forever. And he's like, I'm, just, I'm, I'm pretty Wait, sure I, I remember thinking, should I just leave? Like, I've I had. love. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, I've had multiple games where, like, at the beginning of the game, if they take, like, X amount of time, I have thought, do I just need to leave? because of how slow this is because like it's not going to be good content yeah. if it's going to take them that long to take actions that guy's mouse dying is completely understandable i have a wireless mouse i get no warning it just dies on me and i just have to find the plug to plug it back in so okay. i understand that mine's battery mine. operated so mine are human operated um i would say i would like in the sim if they added a chat feature so you could like type something out yeah. Um, of course. I actually kind of like that there it. isn't a chat feature. If I'm being honest. Yeah, I mean there are definitely advantages to it. Like you're not going to get called the N word, for example. But yeah. uh, but just like for simple. Stuff, Why was that your go-to? <laughs> because it's an online I'm playing thing. COD People, too much. For some reason, just love doing <laughs> just that. COD lobby. Yeah. Yeah. COD lobbies, like you name it. Yeah, it opens up the potential for brave. abuse. Yeah, dude. People are brave behind. Yeah, people are brave online. online. When they're on the internet and their face ain't being shown, they'll mm -hmm. say just about anything. Yep. Yep. Just like that guy that's a brand of fat face. I'm <laughs> yeah. still waiting for him to upload his picture to his profile. Where's your uh, face channel. reveal, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um I do I do want there to be a turn timer though. Like it could be exactly like how I recall YGO Pro being. Um it's not for the full turn it's like in, in between actions yeah right? like it'll reset in between each action you take to where like yeah. let's say it gives you 30 seconds or 45 seconds for an action or something like that and then it just resets after you take an action every time like i think that would be perfectly fine i think 30 sounds like it might potentially be too short i was thinking like, 20 oh you think too short well yeah most of the it time resets every time i was gonna say like 20 so 30 seconds is the standard for slow play um yeah okay but i'm just thinking on like the scenarios where like you have a turn that's going to decide the game and you actually have to like think about it mm. for a moment yeah, yeah so i'm thinking like worst case minutes. scenario how much time would you feel comfortable with thinking but it probably should be 30 seconds since that is the like the slow play time um okay but sometimes that will go by quickly if you're ha if you're like put in a spot where like that turn is going to decide yeah. the game and you have to think. But I mean, also because this isn't being used for like actual maybe time bank that'd be cool. Yeah, I don't think this since it's not going to be used for like actual tournaments. Uh, I don't think there's really a rush feature. Like I don't think you need to do thirty seconds. I think a minute is like probably acceptable. I, I think it might be a little too long. I think forty five is a good sweet spot. I think I like the idea I just had. Um, it's like in poker uh, where like... Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Uh, you, 30 seconds standard that'll reset in between each action, but you can use a time bank that builds up. You like start with a certain amount, and then like if you use it, it it'll build back up, uh, where you can extend the time beyond the 30 seconds um, and just cut into your... other actions faster? No, you can just you can just click time bank and take extra time beyond 30 seconds up to the limit of your time bank. Oh, okay. So, like, if you're in one of those turns, you can actually, like, think about it a little longer than you normally would on most plays. I think I like that. I think that would be best. Basically, like, for example, Bran, let's say on turn one, you start your turn, hatch, digivolve, digivolve, and then you hit time bank, and you you store 27 seconds. Well, you don't that's have to hit it. So it, natu like, oh. it naturally builds up. No, yeah, it would naturally it do it, but up. I'm saying, like, that's what it is. So, like, on a final turn, you could be like, I need extra time. You could click the button and be like, okay, I get yeah. this extra like lot said, of time. You just build it up. Yeah. Yeah. So like it would punish people that are sitting there turn zero, frame zero. Roping. Yeah, roping. Doing whatever they're doing. If their mouse dies, I understand that, but unfortunately I don't know that on my end at in the moment. Yeah. Um but it would also allow people that like are in a, a sticky spot to like actually think about stuff. Yeah. Indeed. I think that's probably on their roadmap. I don't remember looking for it specifically, but um, I will say on the roadmap, there's a uh, a ladder uh, on the roadmap, and I think it starts in like November. As far as it being on their roadmap, that doesn't mean it's going to be like in the game in November. But Long's yeah. a cool, smart guy. I'm sure he's got to figure it out. Like again, this is not us like 
saying, oh, the Sims no good, it's it's bad, it's, you know, whatever. No, we're just saying... Every night now. Yeah, it's just one of those things like, hey, these are like little things that could improve mm. the gameplay on the Sim. Like, Yeah, I absolutely, I absolutely love the Sim. Um, it's really, really easy to use, really clean, smooth. Um, there are just some things that could make it better. So like, why mm-hmm. wouldn't you want it to have those things implemented? Which they have yeah. them on their roadmap, so like they're going to get implemented at some point. Yeah. And there better be a uh, function that punishes people for quitting in the ladder system. Because, well, obviously uh, there bro. would be. The ladder system would introduce rankings, and you'd have like an yeah. ELO. So like, if you leave, you you lose. Yeah. Yep. Um, like because bruh, five times. That's I so crazy. Played. I mean, I guess I'm not five. playing. I haven't played Red Hybrid on the sim yet, but I haven't. I counted. The only time I've had people quit on me is. I've had people frame zero quit after mulliganing their hand, which that was in a video. That makes sense. They just don't want to deal with it. Yeah, and then I played against them a second time, and they didn't quit, so it makes me wonder how bad their hand was uh, whenever they mulliganed. Um, and then I've had people scoop where I was basically about to, like, the game uh-huh. was over. It just would have taken me, like, another turn after that. Yeah. Um, and they've just quit, which, I mean, is fair. I don't blame people for quitting in that scenario. But I have had five separate players quit, when I hatch my Coromon or my Yoko, if I have just the one of, even into a red hybrid card, and they just quit. Five people! That actually gives me an idea. I think I want to build Setcon and then play it on the Sim and see how many people quit <laughs> turn one. Or, like, as soon counter. as it's revealed that I'm playing security control, how long before they just leave? B- BT1 counter. Magna comes down and being like, ah! They <laughs> just leave. <laughs> I actually think I want to do that. I, I'm just going to have a section. little counter. If you want Sean to be a piece of crap on the sim, let <laughs> us know. I love playing against security control. I don't I don't think it's bad to play against. But. He says, do it. You have the thumbs up of approval. She would like security control. She is a yellow-purple player at heart. How yellow did you have to hit yeah. her to say that? Um... <laughs> I mean, I guess pretty hard. I mean, you brought your hands over and started popping your knuckles like you had just, like, punched something. It's like, yeah, I thought yeah. that's what you said. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Joe Cooper, 8527. Uh, where do you get comment questions? Excellent right. question. We get them from the uh, previous video's comments. Uh, so right where you put this. Uh, how does bottom decking work in the sim? I'm assuming you mean Drazel. Because obviously bottom decking is like it just does it on DCGO. Yeah, you just get to pick the order and it just goes to the bottom. Yeah, deck. on Drazel, you uh, well, maybe maybe he means like when you select the cards, like one, two, three, like which order are they going? It's like three going to be the top of those cards, or is one going to be the top of those cards? Okay, well I guess we'll just answer it in both contexts. Uh, yeah, one would be the top card on the DCGO sim, so you go one, two, three. The one would be the top, two would be the second, and third would be the bottom. Works the same way so when you top deck up in real life. If you pick yes. your deck up in real life, three is at the bottom. Yeah, yes. and it's the same thing when you top deck cards in DCO uh, Sim as well. Is one would be on the very top, and then two, and then three. Uh, bottom decking on Drazel, you drag the card, and there's a little like shadow looking thing on the bottom of the deck. And if you drag it to that shadow, it'll put it on the bottom of the deck if you let it go. Don't they have like little down arrows? Uh, I think you're thinking of security. Maybe I am. Yeah. Okay. Also, Drazel has been constantly getting updated as well, so there are UI changes right now. Yeah, it, it does. It's yeah. so excellent as well. Yeah. Yeah, Drazel still isn't bad. It's it's literally, like, it's really nice that we've gotten to the point in the game where we basically have a dueling book and a YGO Pro. Yeah, like, they're the a- equivalent of the, like, dueling book and YGO Pro, which is really cool. Especially since uh, the "quote unquote" dueling book, the Drazel, is a great way to test future formats. Whereas the DCO Joe Pro or D- DCGO is the best way to test current format. Yeah, unfortunately, Huang of uh, is doing his absolute best to avoid getting cease and desisted by Bandai by not releasing the sets until like they've been printed in English for at least a couple of weeks. Which I completely understand. I would hate to see the DCO gym. DC, I, you, can't, you made it's me do it, Brandon. Tire, no, it's you. your fault. It's your fault. Damn uh, you, Brandon. The DCGO sim, I would hate to see it go down. So he be as careful as you want, my guy. Um, 
I will we say do, we want this thing to live. I am looking forward to when I can play BT16 on the sim, um, because grinding against Ben on the Drazel is it would be much quicker testing versus each other if we could go on the sim since everything's automated. But you know, it's nice having the option. Uh, Liam McCown eight three six nine says, uh. LOL, my bad guys, last week when I commented, I was thinking of Mallow as a casual fun deck for locals, but forgot to specify. That's fair, and that makes sense. Yes. That's the only I could, It'll be very good. <laughs> I could see the card. I could see you having fun with Mallow at locals, for yes, sure. Yes, 100%. Uh, for my question this time, how do you all feel about the BT15 meta as we leave it behind? Did you enjoy or dislike it, and why? Uh, I really enjoyed it. I like how... You know, doing the deck breakdowns for all the top 16s, it was very apparent that it was getting stale. We were seeing the same deck, sometimes card for card. But I think as a set overall, I think it was actually a really good uh, format for the game. It definitely The was emergence good. of Numamon. Yeah, Numamon finally taking its place at the top. Uh, Mirage still doing Mirage stuff. Deva somehow being a dark horse in the in the rankings. I think it was a really fun and interesting uh, format. Also, yeah, I'm, I think unlike this upcoming format where it's going to be warped around one card, there we didn't really have that last format because Apocalymon was hit. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of decks came out of the woodwork and were like, oh, man, it's our time to shine. It's like Brandon said, Numamon started to rise up, so people were like, oh, how do we play against that? Deva's. What? <laughs> uh, Leviah um, getting hard checked halfway through the format when people realized, oh, this is how I it would. Deck. It was still topping. I mean, it's still it was still a good deck. One or but two I, every now and then. Dave is also yeah. laugh at Leviathan because they literally can't interact with Fang. Yep. yep. They have no no removal that interacts with their Fang Longmon. Um, so. Um, go ahead. Yeah, fun format. I thought so. I thought it was a fun format. I will say it was a fun format, um, but it's still a little too diverse for my liking, uh, competitively speaking. This dude. Um, he, but you like to be able to be like, okay, I'm going to run into these two decks at this online tournament. This and is what I'm my deck. For. Yeah, th and then you come across the one rogue deck and you're like, wasn't expecting this, get bodied. I hate this. <laughs> yeah, so competitively speaking... I would prefer to play in a tier zero format. However, oh, you. However, I understand how, from a casual perspective, that is not fun because then you can't really play a deck that you would have more fun with. I totally get that. Um, Sean loves tier zero mirror matches. Yeah. He's that guy. So if you play in a tier zero format, Generally, most of the time, assuming your decks are the same power level, uh, the better player will win a majority of the time because you have access to the same stuff. They're not going to be playing a deck that just straight up counters your deck and you just encounter it randomly and you don't have a side deck so you can't do anything but like try to tech for it. Um, but I do understand how that's not fun from a casual perspective. I get it. Um, I do disagree with that take slightly. Because if you have two people playing the exact same deck, the exact same time, it could sometimes boil down to just who has better RNG. Like, oh, I never saw my Magna X. You saw two. Obvious I lost. Obviously. And situations like that happen in any deck. They happen in, they happen in card games in general. Um, yep. There is a... I forgot the word chance um there's a skill factor and a chance factor um if we have a tier zero format the skill factor goes up but there's still the chance factor there um you obviously can lose just a bricking that's a nature uh of the card game but ma the majority of the time the best player should win i remember yeah. back in the day with the uh in Yu-Gi-Oh, where uh, this was really relevant, was the uh, the what are the the dragons? 
The Dragon Rulers. The Dragon Rulers, where that kind of become a tier zero format, and it was, okay, who's going to big eye who, who's going to Draco sack who, how are you going to, like, that's how it would turn out. was like, it was a very skill-based mirror match where... Mm-hmm. You yeah, plan so. accordingly. you both had yeah. access to basically all of your resources in your deck so most of the time the best player was going to win the player who understood yeah. the mirror and how to uh, play around it with best uh the player who opened up a uh, d fissure you pop off first and you activate d fissure they were screwed yeah, that is awful true. brandon that's what happened that is not a thing that was happening yeah, in they, Dragon Rollers. Yes, they don't were they playing. Trigger, they were playing they the were spell card uh, to banish themselves to get their effects. If they're just straight up being banished immediately, no one was teching D Fissure for the mirror. My Char, dude. I seen it. I, I no. know exactly what Brand's talking about. No. Anyway, I'm with you, Brand. A false sense of security because they're like, "Haha, you just popped off. I'm about to big eye you, D Fissure." Uh, I didn't see the. I didn't see the Dragon Ruler that popped a spell card. Okay, I guess I lose. Anyways, oh, been, I don't know. Like I don't know so. what Mandela effect is happening right now, but that was not a thing when I played. Um, yeah, I I like tier zero formats or like tier point five formats. Like my favorite format was BT five with Lord Nightmon. Um, I loved playing against the Mirror. I won most of the time. Um, That's why he loves it. <laughs> yeah, because it was Lord Nightmon. I won a lot. Lord Nightmon was. Basically, if you knew how to play against the other two top decks, which were Setcon and Rookie Rush, it was tier zero. Yeah. Sean's uh, gluck, gluck for Lord Nightmon became a thing because of that format. That is true. He had no idea who Lord Nightmon was before that. No. Clue. Correct. Technically, I still don't. <laughs> okay, next comment question. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to read this just for Brandon's sake. For posterity. Uh, yeah. Dare Day 436. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, for once, I'm not going to clown on Brandon. He is absolutely right. Everything with the new hex is mid. What is the point of Ice Armor if your opponent can't suspend? At most, all, all it does is help you with blockers, but what good is that if you're running the old stuff that hard locks instead of soft locks? Uh, yeah, exactly. Didn't someone, non- also com- didn't someone also comment on the way we were saying Ice Suit? Probably no. I mean, I someone, sweet. yeah, I sweet. Someone commented oh, and then deleted chip. it like within ten minutes. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, we're we're trolling. Go ahead, Brandon. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it's just a non-sticky level six that has less, like, l- less interaction on your opponent's turn than the average ace card. Like, what's the point of even running it? Mm-hmm. It's just bad. J Linus Van Pelt. Uh, hi guys, I have a quick question. Are you open to streaming your official events online? I think it would be cool to see your thought process live. Um, I've been asked this question before. A uh, short answer is not really. Um, I have massive respect for people that do stream when they play in big events. I am already mentally fatigued at the end of the day just from playing. I can't imagine streaming on top of it. Uh, on top, on top of that, though, like if he's talking about like at our locals, there's no way they'd be able to hear you. That and there would be a lot of uh, background noise, foul background language, noise. Most of yes. which oh, yeah. would be from yours truly. Um, Who me? Up a storm. Yours truly is me. I okay, am yours truly. Okay. okay, good, good. I'm I'm a saint. I've never cussed. I definitely haven't cussed twice so far today. That's right, dude. You never never say bad words. Yeah. Um and also my setup, how I play online does not look super clean. Um so it's not the best like uh aesthetic either. Um but I have I been... still think it would be cool for you to host a tournament and then like you know Brandon like as your like co commentator. That would be fun. Like a live stream on like Twitch or something and we're watching games and we're just like commentating like what this might be this player's thought process or something and you can like switch between the two. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Um What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. So I have been posting content like that. Um like when I'm playing uh, on the DCGO sim against randoms, I have no one to talk to but myself. 
so i just kind of like uh flow of thought like i just yeah. speak what i'm thinking in those While videos smack. yeah apparently i'm disrespectful uh when people take over a minute to turn one my favorite uh, my favorite part is when sean takes his mic and goes <laughs> <laughs> do i do that sometimes no. yeah <laughs> no it's the same thing brand said that one time he's like sean you 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 make that like weird lip noise or something and sean's you're like i don't care i leave it in but like stuff like that yeah yeah i don't know Just it's like mouth noises yeah it's like when you're like swallowing spit or something and you just hear it Mm. No, like there was one time I swear to God it sounded like he farted and you could <laughs> hear it. But he goes, Oh no, that was just my tummy growling and I was like, Alright, bro, sure. Oh was. yeah, I had my mouth open and my stomach growled and it like came through my mouth. He definitely like, wasn't blowing I gro- air straight. I growled out of, out of my mouth. Butthole. Yeah. Um you can you actually can't hear me fart, fun fact. Um I fart while we're doing this sometimes. You don't you can't hear it. Yeah, you'll never know, Brandon. Know. Um, the noises you can hear that may sound like farts are sometimes my chair will like make a weird squeaking sound that sounds kind of uh, like it's use. fart-esque, but no, yeah. it's not Everybody farts. If you, ever, if you ever see Sean's face, start to just, he gets real quiet and he just starts like stern face. That's when he's farting right now. Look it's, at him. <laughs> that's when a toddler is pooping itself. <laughs> Anyways... Uh, you know, Sean's out here stern facing it. Yep. Yep. Oreo X one thousand says, wasn't trolling. My question only came up because someone mentioned hard playing Magna X. Um, well, I think the person who said hard playing Magna X was trolling. I would hope so. Uh, I think it was me because I remember going, oh, just hard play the Magna X. I, I was definitely trolling. Though. I can't tell if Oreo X is referring to a comment or one of us, but yeah, either way. Hard playing Magna X obviously wasn't do anything. It's a vanilla twelve thousand DP level six if you hard play it. Hey, that's doing something. Before. I mean, it's literally not <laughs> doing stuff. You're paying memory. I don't know yeah. if you're, I don't know if you're accomplishing anything. It's a twelve K body back in BT one. That was pretty good. I mean, not really, dude. If we if Mega we for real. Josh Pimey, which I, th- I believe this is Josh, uh, uh, Ben's friend Josh that used to come to locals before he moved. Tyrant can redirect Magna attacks, very competitive deck core. Yes. Correct. Me- that is if I, do. if I didn't have to buy so much of the deck, cause I, we don't have any of the Tinto months. I, uh, I don't have the, the promo Kabuterium mon- the Quagamons, yeah. Uh, I would probably build the deck, but like you need those two cards. And the Tentomon is how much, Brandon, because of the Tyrant hype? Oh, well, like fifteen. Fifteen dollars. Thirty five for his alt art. Yeah, and then the Kawagamon promo is like twenty plus. Because it's also coming up. It's a BT fifteen card. It's so, hilarious yeah. that that deck core is so expensive considering it's not even best deck in format. If I would have gotten that stuff I mean, while it was cheap, it's also super expensive. So. Well, the, you make a good, the you make Quagamon a good was the Quagamon was never cheap, but the Tendomon I probably could have got for cheap. Yeah, on release. Um, well, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you probably could have got it on release for like less than five. So, um, yeah, I would have built it, but there's just I'm not going to invest in that deck like that. Like, why? Play it on the sim whenever the cards come out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'll end up doing: playing it on the sim. Uh, J Fox fifty. I hundred percent agree with y'all about yellow vaccine. I'm reading things that aren't questions. I need to be better about this. <laughs> I hundred percent agree with y'all about vaccine magnex being as strong as you claim. I would be very shocked not if it did not win the first big event. Um, it's probably going to that that or no, it's gonna be that or Mirage. Hopefully, be one of those two. Hopefully, it'll be your boy because I will be playing in the first regional. Spoilers, um, if you I play me, I will be playing Magna stop. X Vaccine. I think the only thing that's possibly going to stop Magna X from being the tierest zero of decks is availability. Because I've already been hearing about a bunch of short printing for this set. People aren't getting a whole lot of product. I, I hate the to say it, I haven't... Expensive. I haven't seen too many cases. Like, people, like, post their cases, like, this is what I got. 
and seen like four Magnexes. It's like very rare. Yeah, it's like four. It's in a case. crazy that you guys pulled three out of like four boxes. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's absolutely go. Let's go. And where are they all at? They're in my deck box. <laughs> They're in my deck box. Let's go. They're not even ours. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I thought it was crazy because I thought it would just be like a, like a regular secret where it's like you get 50-50 chance of pulling it. But no, like I'm seeing case openings and people are like pulling like a billion rapid X's. Here's like three magna X's. Yeah, that's a little disappointing every time I see that. I think that's going to be the thing that stops this deck from being the tierest of zeros. That, that's like what I'm saying. Ruin mode type, type situation where it's, it's going to be out and yeah. it's, it's rare. It's going to be that or Mirage because Mirage, everyone already has it. It's accessible. And it's, it has a good matchup into it because they can't redirect. And if they open up well and just swing through all your security, you just die. Also, or it's going to be Magna. Numamon as well. Numa. Numamon as well. Yeah, they can definitely. Num Numa the, the, is still just the, as good. The problem I see with Numamon is, though, like, yeah, they can swarm the board, but once you establish one Magna, like... Monzi X and Monzimon have DP reduction are that they persists. Till, is it till the, the end of their turn? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That and they have access to Venus. All right. So, so, like, they have stuff. Yeah, they have Venus. tools to counter uh, Magna X. Yeah, it's Val, Val, Val Gase. Gonna be Val Gase I wouldn't consider because it's only for the turn. Yeah, yeah, it's only for this one. Magna is like 18 if you proc his effect twice. Like, how are they going to neg DP him enough to where it's going to matter? Well, you see, the beginning of your turn, he goes back down to his base DP. 12. And their DP reduction lasts until... How much do they being... reduce him by? Uh, Monze they X get... is 2k per body. Uh, Monze uh, Mon is 3k. Yeah. <laughs> per body as well, or... Just three K. It's so like if they Evo into three. Monze and then go into Monze X, depending on how many bodies are already on the field, uh, as soon as they pass turn, your Magnex dies at the beginning of your turn. Oh, is it is okay. it is it once per turn? Monze X, yes. Monze X. Okay. Thank God, dude. That'd be broken. Yeah, that'd be crazy. It's already so, yeah, all turns. Uh, so those three those three uh decks then? It's gonna be one of those three, right? Yeah, it's gonna be some version of Magna X. Um, either the yellow vaccine version or armor, and then it can't can't be armor. I mean, I mean armor's I've, still going to be good. It's just, in, in our opinion, not as good as yeah. The I think deck that can play Venus Mon. I think the yellow vaccine version would be better. Um, but then also Mirage and Numa. I think those are going to be the top three decks. I think like Sean, I want you to explain to the comment section what you did. Right, you talked about this in your local recap. You literally promoted a level three. Ended with a Magna X keeping turn. Uh huh. I I don't think armor is doing that against no. Solar. Um, because or do I do it against Ben? Did Ben have something on the field? Yeah, I did it against Ben game two. I'm pretty sure where I promoted a Padamon and ended my turn with a Magna X after having swung into security three times. Here's okay. Armor could do that, but they're not keeping turn. That and like if they open slowly, like so the issue with armor is it loses DP reduction, and yellow vaccine has access to a bunch of DP reduction. Like HJ being one of them. Yeah, Just like one. I have obviously they can establish a Magna X, but I have so many tools in my deck to deal with an established Magna X because of just play testing against the mirror. Like Andrew I'm on Ace. Like, what are they gonna do to that? Because this is how it would have K until the end of their turn, and you'd proc your protection. This so, is this is how armor would do it. They'd have to have the promo Vmon. They'd have to promote. Did you evolve into one of this for cheap awakening, and then they go into the Magnex? But that's not there's unless they have like four to five memory. That's not they're not keeping turn. Yeah, because they can't even in a Magnamon for free or negative memory on right. Patamon can. What? Which Yellow Vaccine can do with the Padamon. They can mm. evolve into their armor form for free. Yeah, the high rolls are definitely way nastier on the Yellow Vaccine side. Yes. Yeah. Um, Angel Woman would proc both of your Magna X's protection effects, by the way, Brandon. Like yours oh, and fair, theirs. Fair, 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 fair. Um, yeah. What you need to do is you need to stack DP reduction. So it would be Angel Woman Ace plus something else that lasts until yeah. their turn. And then beginning of their turn starts, Magna X dies immediately. 
So four cost option card blast fire. Uh yes. Yes. Uh, Johnny Stevens 259 to be fair on my comment about the Demi Vimon, I wasn't considering if someone had Venus Mon up or not. I was just considering Magna X versus Magna X. How does Magna X get up to 18k DP? The only card I've seen oh, in Yellow Vaccine that. that gives DP is the Inherit off the Starter Rapid. Sure, if you have Venus and Magna X on the field, that's going to suck, but by the time you have that, the regular Magna probably has two Magna Xs on board and another body or two. I don't think the matchup is as one-sided as y'all are thinking, but I'm building both the decks and no one else at my locals is building either, so I can't really test the matchup. Is he talking about Magna Armor and then Magna Vaccine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's, so, here's the biggest quick, difference. We just oh, talked about quick, this. Real quick. The way you get to 18 is by proccing his effect twice. Yeah, the turn you Evo into him, uh, his Evo effect triggers, obviously, and then if you swing security with him, it triggers again. So he's plus so 6k. Eight. So, the reason why we think this is a little bit more one-sided, Sean just talked about it, he has more access to DP Neg, which again is persistent to mm -hmm. the end of the opponent's turn. Second, it is way easier for the yellow vaccine player to access their security to proc his own effect. Yes, it will be proccing yours, but if you don't have the Magna X up, and he does, he can it way more easier and you, even oh, it's the other way around i'll play it's the other i'll way play where the magna x in the armor deck has theirs established before sean or you know the vaccine variant the vaccine variant come back so anyways what i was saying is i think it's a lot harder for the magna x in the armor version uh to be as proactive I'm looking for yeah versus the vaccine like if the vaccine player falls behind there's a higher potential are you just eating a burger it's a sausage and egg and cheese croissant sandwich bro we've been over this he was eating it last week too oh yeah that's right um yeah i think it's a lot easier for the vaccine player to bounce back and answer their magnetics whereas i think the only thing the armor thing has going for them is establishing multiple oh. maybe I'll give I'll give you guys this too. Armor has to play cards like Blinding Ray mm -hmm. to access their security to proc their Magna, right? Okay. Yellow Vaccine does that, and then also gets to recover by playing their deck. Where yeah. where in armor do they play Blinding Ray and recover from that? So you're already down security. Mm -hmm. Yellow Vaccine would be like promote Pata, activate my Blinding Ray because my Pata does that for me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, I I'm not. We're not saying. Yeah, like, we're not saying that. Resources. Vaccine yes. is the resource. Is the resource? Yeah. Yellow. Um, we're not saying yellow armor isn't going to be like a fun deck or a competitive deck. It will because of Magna X. Mm -hmm. But the core in yellow vaccine is just Consistent better. And strong. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. It's just better. Also, access to Venus. Yes. Also, yeah, access yeah. to Venus Mon is uh, Venus. really strong. Because you Evo into Venus Mon, and then it turns off all their stuff for a turn. So even if they have a Magnex established, you can just be like, hey, it doesn't do anything this turn. <laughs> right. And then you can test the matchup. You just literally put out a double play mat, shuffle both decks, and then you play against it. You just walk the table. I personally am not a fan of that, but yeah, you can't do that. Or just go to the sim. Just play on the sim. Or the, uh, yeah, either one of the sims once the actual sim gets the cards. Blind Owl 123. In theory, would Gallant, wouldn't would Gallantmon be a good call this format? Your biggest weakness was consistency with Jukamon fixes, and you have enough DP gaining inheritables to beat or crash into 18k Magnamon with Raid Gallantmon while board controlling smaller bodies or trashing security. Plus, having BT12 Takato means you can always answer Magnamon the turn after it's summoned by warping into a 16k Raid Gallantmon. So, most of that is incorrect. Um, you would not want to play Ukamon in a Gallantmon deck. Um, I agree, you can't Digivolve on top of it. Yeah. Like, it is a good searcher, but like they have level 3s that you don't need to replace. So, the turn that, the, that someone goes into Magnamon... If they check your security, it'll be 18k on your turn. 
If you Evo into the Raid Gallantmon, uh, Raid Gallantmon's effect says delete a 6k or lower, and if he doesn't, trash a top card of your opponent's security. That triggers Magnamon again. He immediately gets 3,000 more DP and goes up to 21k. Yep. Um, and so they have to have another body on the board for that play to work. Yeah, they have to have something that you can kill, and obviously if they're playing around that, they just won't. Um, also, the BT-12 Takato warping into a 16k Raid Gallantmon. They, even, they trigger Magnamon's effect. He's 15k on your turn. Same thing. You swing. He trashes top card of security. He immediately gains 3k. If you're raiding into him, you just die by battle. He's 18,000. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So no. Unfortunately, this is not a Gallimon format. I think once we get the new Crimson mode and Megidramon, I think it actually Rise will... Up. I think it'll actually be a decent deck, but until then, no, I'll leave it in your deck box. Uh, I do think we should also read Ori... It. Oreo X1000, hear me out. Choice restrict Magna X and vaccine traits, not named Magna X. East also stated vaccine armor is... Uh, best deck in game. Yeah, best deck in game. Yeah, and East actually, like, is in the Japan format, or at least follows it very mm -hmm. closely. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, I don't think choice restricting Magna X and vaccine traits would be the right answer. Unfortunately, I think the only way you answer it is by hitting the Magna X. Yeah, because vac Yellow Vaccine is not a problem by itself. It's a good deck, but like... Giving it an untouchable boss monster was the issue. Yeah. I but think... I, I wouldn't mind uh, if they hit the Magna X. I think it'd be a little bit dumb, especially this early, because they're... It's unlike Apocalypse, at least it's like somewhat interactable. There are things you can play and do that can... Mm -hmm work against it yeah. it's just i don't think it's going to be what everyone wants it to be because they want to play certain things and then when they come across it they're like i don't have an answer for that and it's just like well, yeah Com competitively speaking for this yeah competitively speaking this format if you're not playing a deck that answers magna x or establishes magna x you're gonna have a bad time if you play again he it. said he said competitively yeah casually if your locals doesn't really have it going happening like who cares just play oh, whatever wow. you want yeah we still have people at our locals playing hunters bagra like and then complain that they lose yeah i unfortunately had to bully my locals this week um with magna x vaccine but you know has to be done pull the band-aid off early i was actually really excited to get to this next question too because i read this one earlier Grim the Nightmare, 6536. Thank you for being a member, by the way, Grim. Uh, for the questions for next week, what do all of you think the environment has to be in order for a card to become unbanned, unrestricted, if at all? Say for three examples, Grandmon X Antibody, BT11, Doru Grandmon BT7, and Anubismon EX5. No, I, I don't think Doru. I don't think I Doru think, could ever. I love the three he chose because it's a scale of power level. Like, yeah. look at that. It goes Greymon, it a card that can come off the list. Doru Greymon, a card that could maybe come off the list if the time is right. And then Anubismon, a card that never should have been printed. Nah, like, you're coping like if you think Doru can come like off. He picked those three cards. It was great. Okay, um, all right, sure. Um, Doru can come off the list if Oru can Mons at one. That's, a, that's an idea. Doru needs you could to, choice restrict have it. to have... Yeah, Doru would either have to have a choice restrict, or something else in the deck would have to go. When I when I tell you I forgot how strong that combo was until Caleb did it to me while I was playing Grace, he literally killed me through one turn, all five security, with that one card. He saw that card and immediately killed me. He goes, oh, Jover. cool. It was Jover. There was no, I couldn't play. It's one of those cards where it's like, hey, if they, if, because unlike Jespawn, at least Jespawn's deck, Savior, they have to play a bunch of really bad bricks. And that card, they're like, here's a million searchers. Yeah. You're always going to see your pieces. Not only do your level three search your Digimon, but they also grab your tamers. And all your tamers here's, search. Yeah. Here's all your pieces. Here's all the memory gain. So you're never passing turn. And your boss monster is humongous. Yep. 
With a million swings? Yeah, no thanks. Uh, Doru can't come off the list. Arguably one of the most consistent and overtuned decks to ever exist in this game was full power uh, Alphamon. Yeah. Um, there weren't any which, counters to it. No. you Unless they checked a chaos degradation out of security specifically, y- you lost. Yeah. Like, um, the also, game needs to completely catch up with that level of power to where it's inconsequential or something else needs to be hit to balance it. That's I also think... Yeah. Greymon X could definitely the list. It's not going to immediately break Greymon. Jet Sylphimon can immediately come off the list. It's not going to suddenly break Yellow Hybrid. Yeah. We like, finally have... going to pick up Yellow Hybrid and be like, I can compete against Magna. Yeah, we finally have a good like good Yellow archetypes now to where like Yellow Hybrid is not the only like if you're be- playing a Yellow deck, it's not just the only choice is Yellow yeah, Hybrid. Right. Um, also, like looking at the Greymon X, if you took that off, it's just another check for Magna X, because I think Raid War Greymon could potentially have a decent matchup into it if you, you had the ability to climb super big quickly yes. to, before they could start building multiple bodies on the board. Yeah, like I don't think any form of Greymon Tribal is going to be Tier 1 this format, and Greymon X going to 4 might change that, but I'm not even I sure. Help. It'd help its consistency. Oh, absolutely. It would help it tremendously. Especially since we have cards like Patamon, we have cards like Emissary, we have cards like uh, the Magna Angemon that was just printed, which is going to be very good next format, mm-hmm. which just generically turbo decks faster. Uh, and then we're looking over at Greymon X, like, what did he do wrong? Yeah, for real. I honestly don't, like... I mean, I guess it would have been a really, really strong deck in BT12 if we had Greymon X, but yeah. I don't think it would have been that oppressive. But definitely now, like the game has gotten to the point where it's it's kind of ridiculous if you look at that card and like the, some of the cards you mentioned, Brandon, that exist in the game now, and that card's still yeah, on the list. It's like Brandon said, uh, Anubis Mon never should have been printed. Hundred so, percent. Like we don't we don't even yeah. have to talk about that one. It like, should not have been a main need, effect. What yeah. they need to do for cards, if you want a card to come off the list. Sometimes the only option is to print a new card that does what the old card does, but slightly worse. Like attaching once per turn. Like, or something. Or not giving it when attacking. Like, Anubis was printed to do too much. Too yeah. cons- I I would tolerate Anubis existing if it was just when digivolving. Yes. Like, it would like, still it be super when broken digital, when it popped off okay. on you, but they couldn't just do it every single turn if you answered their board, and but to left the Anubis there. Yeah. Or they couldn't an- Anubis in raising and just be like, when I promote next turn, I'm about to touch yeah, you. Yeah, over. <laughs> yeah. Because, um, like, you could even look at the new Garu cards. Like, the Garu X, a mistake, shouldn't have been done. Um, they should have made it very archetype specific. They shouldn't have made it generically used for any deck. The Gabu X, I think, could probably come off. Um, I know Sean will probably still disagree with me, but with Magna X on the run, I mean, what's that Garu doing? What that dog doing? Not much. Not much at all. True. Magna is immune to your uh, your stun effects. Exactly. Like, what am I going to do? Stun it? Okay, start of my turn, promote Patamon. He's not stunned anymore. Eat a bag. Yeah, I got um, I got Quartzmond versus Will round one, <laughs> and I had a suspended Magnex on the field, and I promoted Patamon, and you know how shook was he? I think he knew it was going to happen. So in this scenario, actually, I think this may have been Solar. I think Solar Quartzmond me. Um, is one of quartz was it an alt art or a regular art i don't remember i barely remember who i was playing against apparently um so he didn't have security left and i and all i had to do was trigger my magna x to where it went unsuspend and i had two swings but i actually think i may have killed it before that but i uh i promoted my pata triggered the pata effect and unsuspended my uh, magna x and then swung twice but 
Yeah. Which over. Magnex is pretty silly. Yeah, like, when it comes to restricted cards like that, you just need to look at the landscape of the game and then compare it to the power level of the card and think, does this card coming off immediately make an impact? Because that Doru, if he came off with the current, like, deck, Alphamon's still super strong. Yes. It's incredibly fast. Like... That deck being able to consistently promote a level 4 and OTK you through 5 security with a level 7 was just Crazy. insane. Like, oh, a deck should... This was BT9 format. Like, the power level of that deck, it, like, with 4 Doru Greys was just stupid. I don't know what they were smoking when they designed the, yeah, those it cards. Yeah, like, uh, it felt like a deck like nowadays. It's even stronger than most of the deck. Like, kill. even the aggro decks nowadays don't have that power level. Like, they can't yeah, just mm -hmm. set up a few cards... And then just be like, okay, next turn, I'm promoting and just killing you. Also, I'm next immune to every form of removal besides putting me in my security. Yeah. But uh, uh, Anubis is unfortunately just one of those cards where it, it probably shouldn't come off. They were just, they made it way too good. Yeah, I, I don't like Anubis at one, honestly. I think Anubis should be banned. Yeah, like, when I tell you I was playing on the Sim, this is absolutely bodied. Uh, I was playing against the Levia player, and he saw the Gar the Gabu X, the Garu X, and Anubis, all within the first like three turns. Mm -hmm. I was pissed because he hard played the Gabu X. I couldn't immediately out it, so he evoed it into the Garu, evoed it into the Garu X, and ended his turn with Anubis. Swarmed his board, and I was just like, "You lose okay. here." Okay. Yep. Yeah, you I'm can done. Do. Yeah. Didn't matter what I was playing. So. Adaptive reasoning uh, says. By the way, I'm getting word that the BT16 boxes were under distributed. They're out on the West Coast, and boxes on TCG Player are going up. So are pre-sale cards more than usual. Anyway, speculation is that the last set undersold, so they made fewer cards. We had to raffle off three boxes at pre-release for 17 people because that's all they could get. The Evo Damn. Cup is on Saturday too, which is a real kick in the teeth. Nobody can finish their decks. Thoughts? I think they really screwed up with BT15. I think the effects of BT15 are still being felt right now with how they treated that set and how it ended up coming out. Uh, and I think because, like you said, it probably undersold, uh, it most definitely probably affected BT16. Because I definitely see a lot of posts of people saying, like, oh, we didn't get a lot of product, we didn't get a lot of product. And I'm wondering if this is one of the reasons. Yeah, like our locals, I think, got one case of the set. And we were fortunate enough to where we had enough boxes to have the pre-release. And then we had to have one person say they weren't going to buy a box so everyone else could buy a box if they wanted to. Yeah. And I got a box. And we had multiple other people that decided not to buy boxes. And then Brandon and Chris, uh, well, Chris technically got three boxes, I guess. And Brandon got one box. Yeah, they give me first dibs because I run the tournament. So BT15, I was able to. I think I was the only person who was able to buy a second box. I think you were, yeah. And and uh, this time I was able to buy. I had first dibs on a second box as well, which I poor Ben, poor Chris, poor Ben, yeah, poor Ben. No Magna X's to be found. Yeah, uh, hopefully no Ben's Magna. able to procure uh, two more Magna X's because he said he ordered two. But he's also intending on playing Yellow Vaccine next Saturday, so like he needs to get two more. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, I would like it if they would have distributed the set better. Uh, I think this is one of the sets that, like, if you were smart enough to have any type of foresight and you worked for Bandai, you'd be like, this set's probably going to sell quite a bit because the best card in the set is a secret rare and it's going to be in like most of the top tier decks. Um, I would imagine people are going to buy this set, but so Chris, I have a question. wrong wrong Chris, I have a question. Okay. Um, on the table, I saw we had a regular rare, uh, Apocalymon. How much did you spend on that? He's a secret. My guy, the regular rarity. Oh, regular uh, I I can't remember. I have to go back. I don't think it was much. Why? Why not just spend the $8 on the alt art? He's an $8 alt art secret rare. Did he go back 
down? Because I remember that one guy that was like yeah, trying to build a binder like and down. accidentally caused like a buyout. Yeah, no, he's eight dollar right now. Because I was checking how much the is the regular. The I can't even. I haven't even seen it. Probably less than a dollar. It's honestly yeah. Like he must have like. He must have like dropped like crazy because I don't remember spending that $3. little on it. Three dollars. Yeah, see, I probably would have just bought the altar when I bought it. Mm. Well, yeah, you still I was can. looking at the price set because I wanted to see if like the set price tanked. And uh, honestly, the expensive cards are exactly what you think they'd be. Yeah. Any the, more uh, comment questions, Sean? Uh, Adaptive Reasoning says, Would y'all play Numamon versus Magna X and Rapid versus Magna X on the sim? I want to watch those matchups at full power. This is a request not intended to be a comment, by the way. but Or a comment question, by I the way. But I still read it. I I will bring I will bring Numam on and play test it against Sean in person if I have to. I still have the whole deck built. Excellent. Can't wait to touch you. Yeah. I'll have to put my Venus Mons in and uh ruin modes. I wanna read this person's comment because I'm assuming they're trolling well, or they're just uh I'm not even gonna this person's an ex Yu Gi Oh player or current Yu Gi Oh player, which makes sense based on yep, this it's toxic exactly comment. what I think it is. Uh, your guys' takes become worse and worse. They're saying worst and worst with each podcast. Magnamon isn't even that good in Japan. Every reply telling him otherwise. Yeah. Ten replies. Yeah, he's got to be trolling. Yeah, that's got to be troll, or he's just that ignorant. Um. No, that's ignorant. Uh, don't say that. That's ignorant. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Uh, what's that, brother? Uh, Sorry, bad take is bad. Yeah, bro. I don't know what Japan you went to or looked into, but Magnex. Just read Magnex. Like, I don't understand. Just read it. <laughs> like, how could you read a card like that and be like, nah, this card sucks, dude. What are you talking about? It's bad. <laughs> Trash. Immune to everything? Trash, dude. D Reaper's not this a good deck a... because of Mother being immune to everything. Belfimon's yeah, not a good a, deck this because isn't a ritual, sleep mode. This isn't is a immune. ritual monster. Obviously, it's bad. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was it for comment questions. Yeah, shout Christ. out to uh, shout out to Emerald Nip for losing to the uh, the bot playing Numa when he was playing Royal Knight. Dude, uh, <laughs> if you so having so I just grind against the bot to just practice like the decks that I'm gonna play on the channel, just so I like understand like how to quickly do the lines of play and things, just to make it more fun to watch. And I have lost a few times to the bot, just like randomly wombo comboing me. Like it's womboed me with all force. Oh no! It has uh, killed me with Agubond, I believe. Like. If you, I think if you give it a low to ground deck like Nume, it will probably have a higher likelihood of actually playing that deck correctly because there's fewer choices. Um, but if you give it like a stack deck, obviously there's a chance for it to just be like, hard play Mega, here's 10 memory. I wonder how it would play Red Hybrid. Probably better than most stack decks, although there to... is still a chance it will just hard play an Emperor Greymon to pass turn. Yeah, but you have to know when to digivolve into your tamers and stuff like that. I'm not saying it's going to play it optimally, but you can potentially just lose because it opened well and didn't. It doesn't take a whole lot of brain power to play Red Hybrid, so. I know. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. I come out of the locals being still nice and refreshed and not like Ben, who looks like he's about to just heal over. Yeah, but if you give it or like Mel, a. Mel, who worked 19 hours in two days, that number is burned into my brain. Yeah. If you give the sim like. A deck where basically it's hard to do the wrong thing like a deck that doesn't have a mega or something like that like or just a true ricky rush deck it will probably play it relatively normal because it just won't have the option to just be like here's 10 memory yeah getting womboed with all fours felt pretty bad because it was just like a swing arena swing no, arena play. swing let me play let me play <laughs> <laughs> i was like no don't kill stop me it. stop it where's that footage uh i don't think i was recording i think that was when yeah, I, yeah I don't i don't sure. record i don't record versus the bot that's that's why i don't yeah. have it recorded 
Uh, I would post yeah, it. That's funny. I would post lost, that. I uh, yeah. I don't record versus the bot because it's literally just me practicing, like playing the yeah, deck yeah. that I'm going to play. One That's other so thing, funny, one other thing is I practice against the bot uh, because I don't want my opponents to just sit there while I'm sitting there thinking about how to do my how to work my deck because I respect their times or their time. There's their time, yeah. Multiple times. Yes, all all of the times. All the times. Like especially like the Jessmon deck, which I haven't played Jessmon since BT six. I played against the bot. I like grinded against the bot with that deck for like three or four days before I actually like went against randoms and recorded. Makes sense. Yeah. Excellent job. Sweet. Excellent, excellent. It's always nice when we have a quick and easy one to get through. So she said. Quick and easy. That was still three hours. It was three hours. I don't know what he's saying. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you guys picked up on my very clear joke. Oh, okay. You were being facetious. Got it. Okay, yeah, good. I did not pick Better up be. Mine. Yeah. All right, Sean, have fun with your sandwiches. I will. Yeah, All right. Go eat me some. Bah. Later. Bah.